Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to high school football where tonight we have bonus coverage as it is homecoming here at Gary County High School at Die House Stadium. We're going to turn it over to the golden voice of Shelby Hopkins as you get to enjoy the festivities of 2023 homecoming here at Gary County High School. Our second attendant is Gary County High School student, sophomore student, Ava, Ms. Ava Maxwell. <laughs> Ava is the daughter of Tiffany and Andy Maxwell. Tonight she's been escorted by her uncle, Jay Moore. Congratulations, Ms. Ava Maxwell. Attended is Garrett County High School junior student, Miss Alicia Gabbard. Alicia is the daughter of Angela Gabbard and David Gabbard. Tonight she is escorted by Mr. Damarian Boatley. Damarian is the son of Tara Norris and Rob Boatley. Congratulations, Miss Alicia Gabbard. These three attendants were chosen by the respective classes to represent them. And now we are proud to present to you your 2023 Garrett County High School Homecoming Queen Candidate. Our first candidate this evening is Ms. Kiana Childress. <laughs> Kiana is the daughter of Shonda and Jeff Napier. Tonight she is escorted by her stepfather, Jeff Napier. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kiana Childress. Our second candidate is Ms. Lexi Lewis. <laughs> Lexi is the daughter of Michelle Lewis and Tim Lewis. Tonight she is escorted by Mr. Caden Ward. Caden is the son of Amanda and Rodney Ward. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Lexi Lewis. <laughs> Our next homecoming candidate is Ms. Chloe Middleton. Chloe is the daughter of Kevin and Lisa Middleton. Tonight she is escorted by her father, Kevin Middleton. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Chloe Middleton. Our fourth homecoming candidate is Miss Audrey Nose. Audrey is the daughter of Jamie Noe and Terry Noe. Tonight she is escorted by Mr. Grayson Fridgeson. Grayson is the son of Jennifer Fridgeson and John Fridgeson. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Audrey No. Our fifth homecoming candidate is Miss Eleanor Searcy. Eleanor is the daughter of Bill and Melanie Searcy. Tonight she is escorted by Mr. Cash White. Cash is the son of Dwayne and Kelly White. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Eleanor Searcy. Final homecoming candidate is Miss Kyra Stoker. <laughs> Kyra is the daughter of Dee and Amy Stoker. Tonight she is escorted by Miss Brennan Smith. Brennan is the son of Jennifer and David Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kyra Stoker. <laughs> Our 2022 homecoming queen, Miss Aslan Ellis, will crown this year's queen. She's been escorted tonight by our crown bearers, Miss Karis Garner, daughter of Matt and Shauna Garner, and Miss Luke Parsons, son of Matthew and Natasha Parsons. Ladies and gentlemen, 2022 homecoming queen, Miss Oslin Ellis. <laughs> These six candidates presented to you were chosen by the senior class to represent them. The candidates were then voted upon by the entire high school student body to determine this year's winner. The Garrett County High School Band will be performing at halftime this evening. Please enjoy the performance. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. The 2023 Garrett County High School Homecoming Queen is Miss Chloe Middleton.
Congratulations to our queen and the members of her court. And there you go, folks. Congratulations to Miss Chloe Middleton, the 2023 homecoming queen. Escorted by her father, Mr. Middleton, as all folks know him as one one half of the brothers. I tell you what, he looks sharp. He looks really sharp. It looks really sharp. It's unusual seeing him at a football game without Garrett County gear on. But this is a I say first. that will change pretty quick. Yeah, it will definitely change. Folks, we're going to go ahead and go to break, and we'll be back. This is Garrett County Golden Lion football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network and the BP Studios at Die House Stadium. is proudly sponsored by the Bob Allen Motor Mall, Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank, the Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, the Hunt Insurance Agency, First Southern National Bank, Danville Office Equipment, Garrett County Health Department, Sutton Pharmacy, Farmers National Bank, Marksbury Farm, DocuBit and Whitaker Bank. Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it. Car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community. Whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture, we're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. Yeah. <laughs> 
And welcome, folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is time for football action here at Die House Stadium as the Garrett County Golden Lions are welcoming in our friends from the north at East Jetsman Jaguars comes into Die House Stadium for a big football game on a perfect weather night here in Lancaster, Kentucky on the campus of Garrett County Middle School. We're going to jump right into it, folks as we're going to get to our Mark's Berry Farm memory moment given to us by our good friend Daniel Hopkins. Garrett County and East Jasmine meet for the first time, folks, since 2018. The Golden Lions defeated the Jaguars that evening 34-31 behind two rushing scores from Christian Hansford and Jacob Hacker, along with a touchdown pass from Bryce Burkhart to Trace Pointer. Gear County is also playing host East Jessman for only the third time in school history. The Golden Lions have won both previous games here at Die House Stadium, 40-0 in 2015, behind Jacob Foley's 153 yards rushing and three touchdowns and a much tighter victory on an 18-13 contest in 2017 in which Josh Warren had both rushing and receiving touchdown that particular night. Folks, this is historic tonight as this marks the 300th home game in Garrett County School history. 300th, and it is wow. homecoming here at Die House Stadium, and we're so excited, folks. We had a wonderful evening last night oh as goodness. the crew was able to bring the Garrett County Cougars football game what against, a performance. East, against Estill uh, County coach, and what an outstanding performance by all the young men on the Garrett County side. You know, I tell you what, folks, it was an absolute honor and privilege uh, to, to kind of bring both those games last night. Uh, tickled to death uh, with the amount of views uh, that we've already had. Appreciate uh, all Thank of our all. viewers there. Uh, you guys are the absolute best. You all uh, are what makes this thing work. So appreciate that. And I tell you, we saw two performances last night that really has a lot of people. Uh, excited right. uh, about the future of Gary County football. Two things I heard uh, probably at least ten times today. Uh, you know, number one, you know, they really thank Main Street Media TV, the Golden Line Sports Network for uh, uh, broadcasting both those games last night, giving the platform to those kids. They deserve it. They've been working hard. The coaches have been working hard. The parents have bought in and That's committed. Right. Man, the second thing I've heard was, oh my goodness, the future is bright for this football program uh, with some really talented young men at that Garrett Middle School. 100%. I mean, it was ex super, it was super exciting. It was fun to watch. We had a lot of kids that uh, that you can tell. I mean, like you said, the future is bright. Great things on the horizon. And tonight is the night that uh, Gary County is going to get their first win, Coach. I know oh, you and I talked my about man. it. We the have, guys calling it. We have planted the flag on the victory part of uh, Gary County's football season, as it has been declared here by Main Street Media folks and Dr. Caleb Gresham and uh, Professor, the truth. Professor Jeff Jacobs. So, so folks, we're going to go to our first break tonight, and when we come back, we're going to have the Farmers Bank's X's and O's coaches interviews as Dr. Gresham will sit down with head coach Spencer Crutchfield today to talk about all the things that are Gary County football and what has to happen tonight for this first victory for the Gary County Golden Lions. So, so we'll be right back. This is Gary County Golden Lion football on Golden Lion Sports Network and the BP Studios. Bob Allen is Danville's dealmaker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. 
Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And welcome back, folks, as we are just under 30 minutes before tonight's kickoff here at Die House Stadium. Let's get right to the action as Farmers, Banks, X's and O's, coaches interviews as Dr. Gresham made his way out to Gary County High School this week to sit down and talk to head coach Spencer Crutchfield. This is Spencer Crutchfield's interview in all things East Jessman. Coach, how'd the practice go this week? Uh, well, went pretty well. You know, we, we had to make some changes. We had a few guys that are beaten banged up. They're going to be out this week. So uh, we had a lot of learning, you know, learning sessions and some guys put in different roles that they're not used to. So uh, you, it overall went really well, especially with all the change. They handled it very well. So, you know, in football, they, they talk about it's a game of attrition a lot of times. It's a physical game. So, you know. And folks have a little bit of technical difficulties there, but uh, well, we just can't get this right. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just, uh, it's okay. I can just talk about what Coach Crutchfield is going to say. I think I'm getting say. sabotaged. I, don't yeah, know. I think it is. I think we're going to have to send somebody else, the, else out there to uh, get this. As, hey, you played the pregame. Well, I think Doctor, I, I think Doctor Gresham's uh, doctorate was not in, uh, <laughs> it was not in technology. Uh, that's for sure. But no, we'll, we'll make this not thing. Dr. We'll make this right. thing so, happen. So, so I would tell you this. Oh, wait a minute. All right, hold on Should a second. we try it again? Let's, let's try let's it try. again. Hang on. Let's Folks, here's Spencer way. Crutchfield, take two. Ah, 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 and X. 0 for 2. Well, 0 for 2. Well, that's all right. It sounds like when I was back playing baseball. And, so, so, so let me fill us in. <laughs> fill us in, Coach. What does so, Spencer so have to Can we try one more time? All right. The all right. Third, third if we know anything about this guy over here, the third time's the charm. Yes. Yes. Coach, the goal lines fell a little short uh, to Somerset last week. But, Coach, the effort uh, really looked improved last week. So, did you and the coaching staff kind of feel the same way after watching film? Yeah, we talked to you know I talked to the guys right after the game, uh, and I told them you know we we re never really fought their effort. It's just the execution of things, and uh, you know I told them you you have to play it at a high with high energy level to be able to even have a chance to win, but you also have to execute at a high level. So, we, that's some of the things that we kind of cleaned up and wanted to work on this week. Uh, you know, keep that energy level there, but just clean up the execution. So, Coach, practice this week. You've been pretty pleased uh, with how practices went? Yeah, you know, it's it's kind of tough to prepare on the defensive side for a wing tee. If you don't do that every day, you know, it's kind of hard to emulate what they do. But, uh, you know, defense, we our scout team offense got to give them a lot of credit. They, they did the best job they could giving us a look. And, uh, you know, defensively, they kind of do some different things and <clears throat> have a few athletes that we, we can't really give a look at as well on, on the, uh, from the offensive perspective. But, yeah, we, we, we 
definitely watched some film, and they were able to see those things on film and uh, had, had three good days of practice. So what's the chances tonight of the play-by-play guy, Scott Bowen, being able to call the play, being able to follow the football with this wing T offense? Well, I, I'd say slim to none. <laughs> no, no it, uh, they definitely do a good job of it, though. They definitely do a good job of hiding the football. And, uh, you know, the wing T is – and I told our, our – Coach Esther told our guys all, all week defensively, if, you, if you're looking in the backfield, you're going to be lost. you got to read your keys. So, you know, hopefully we're able to do that. So, Coach, we talked about East Chessman's offense runs the wing T. Tell us a little bit about their defense. Uh, they're going to kind of pressure you. They're going to uh, they're going to bring some pressures off the edges. they got a couple long guys on the edges that, that can really run. And they got a really athletic back end. So, uh, really aggressive. And uh, JT, you know, former Gary County guy, JT. Oh, yeah, uh, does a great job. Does a great job. Uh, you know, gives you different looks and doesn't keep uh, things the same and it's not stagnant. So uh, definitely can cause you some problems if you're not ready. So, Coach, keys to a big win tonight. I think you're going to say play a clean game tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, limit turnovers and, and, and limit some penalties. Kind of hurt the goal lines uh, yeah. the, the first couple of games this season. And I think the key word is going to be execute today. Ex- so. Execute, absolutely. We got, we got to come out and do our job and do it at a high level. And, uh, you know, that's what I told them. You can't do it 50% of the time. It's got to be, set, or, you know, 85, 95% of the time. And if we're able to do that, you know, I, hopefully we're able to put ourselves in position. To win. Last question, homecoming week. So some football, uh, some football coaches love homecoming week. Some football coaches kind of dread it uh, with a potential distraction. So how do you think you and the team has handled all the festivities this week around homecoming? It's just, it's just another week, you know. I, to me, I don't allow our kids to participate in anything before the game. So anything during the week is great, you know, but uh, game day is game day, so we would get them locked in. Yeah, let's go. Let's get after them, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. And there you have it, folks, is that is the uh, pregame words of head coach Spencer Crutchfield. I have to take a little bit of an exception to head coach Spencer Crutchfield as uh, he gave me slim to none. I'm not sure that I actually have slim well, in me. I was going to say, we, we can have some time for you to explain <laughs> the wing tee offense. Well, the wing tee, it's very complex. It's very complex. We'll talk about it. It's got a wing and there's an alphabet in there and that kind of thing. <laughs> but, but we'll get to it as we go, folks. But they hide the football very well, according to uh, head coach Spencer Crutchfield, which is not a a very good thing for me. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to a few of our shout outs as tonight as we get started as our man Elijah oh, Jones let's starts go, us Elijah. off as he is always the first as he chimes in there. Sean Sinkhorn oh, says, let's go. Yeah. Go to the Lions. He said, keep Coach Kidd's family Absolutely. and friends yep. and the football family in the prayers as they lay Coach Kidd to rest. I know uh, Sean Sinkhorn is uh, very, is, Coach Kidd is very near and dear to Sean's heart as Sean went over there and was an integral part of a lot oh, of their yeah. success that they had for and, many, many and years. And what a legend, Roy Kidd. What a legend, Absolute Roy legend. Kidd. And, and, and I never got to meet Coach Kidd, but everything that I've heard, one of my one of my buddies, Austin Newton, had, has posted a few things. He said he has 75 or more uh, voicemails from Coach wow. Kidd and just a classy guy, man, just a super classy guy. So uh, prayers to Coach Kidd's family as, as this is and the football family as they go through this tough time. Dalton Osborne says, let's get it done, Gary get County. Get done. As tonight is the night. And our traveling Rome, Georgia, aficionado is in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, Judy Gardner. And she is listening in there. Says congratulations to our homecoming uh, queen tonight at Miss Chloe Middleton. And she is in. Miss Gardner, you're going to have to tell me again. What was that? What was that city? We Lake said, Husavani? Who's Something like that. Yeah. Put it back on Just there. Just say it real fast. Put, yeah, put it back on there, Miss Garner, <laughs> and give I mean. me. Make sure you give me uh, the pronunciation. India Harvey. Let's she's hanging go, out, India. watching from her back porch. She says, "Let's go, GC." Is hope you're feeling better. She also says, "Congratulations, Chloe." Uh, hey, the mayor of Little Dixie, Gordon oh, Moore, the mayor. In. Says, "Let's go, GC." As Gordon's son Jesse had his 50th birthday oh, this week. Oh my goodness! As uh, Jesse, the I mean, 5-0. there's no no better guy in all the places around than Jesse Bourne. And so happy birthday, uh, Brother Jesse. Is, uh, I hope you've had a great week, my friend. Kathy Denham, as she checks in and she says, let's go, GC. Let's go. Listen to this. She's rooting from the stands. Oh, my I love word. It. I love I that. I love it. Ben Carter, our, our uh, awesome fifth grade teacher at Camp yeah, Dick Robinson, let's fishing. get a win, baby. Let's go, GC. And here you go. This is awesome. Ashley Payne checking in saying, hey, thanks for covering the middle school football game last night. These boys have worked really Amen. hard. And they put on a heck of a show. 
lot of did. fun. They what sure a did. show they also, put on last night. Also, she says, can't wait to watch them again tomorrow morning, folks. The 7th oh, and 8th grade team kick off at 11 o'clock. Southern Middle School here at Die House Stadium. They deserve the Get support. out here and watch them, followed by Donnelly Barnes' 5th and 6th grade uh, teams that will be playing 30 minutes after the conclusion of that first game. Waylon Boyd says, let's go, GC, let's go. as it's time to get it going. And Brandon oh, Shuey. Oh, my man, Brandon. Rooting in on the Gary County Gold Lines from Florida. Oh, yeah. He's there doing some training and this doing week. Some training and Miss doing you, some Brandon. work. Mission, buddy. Man, be safe, brother. Thank you. Make sure you let everybody know where you're checking in, as we want to make sure that everybody is uh, is rooting on the Gary County Gold Lines. As one just popped up here, Kathy Cavanaugh said, "Here to cheer on GC and her number one grandson in their hearts." Well, they got more grandsons. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. Did it's you number just, eleven. Did you just give a secret? <laughs> <laughs> well, the oldest grandson. I let gotcha. me put that. The oldest grandson and number eleven, Trey Scott. Trey Hey, uh, Scott. I, I, listen, I was looking at because I do a lot of – you know me. I like to do a lot of prep work. Oh, I, I, buddy, I was really Jeff, doing – Jeff, can you – I was doing the show. I was show pretty impressed this Can you show now. the camera here? I was that, showing uh, all of this stuff. I look like Tom show Leach. The oh, wait a minute. Now, now like, you can. See, I mean, look don't, at this guy. don't show all my notes. Look at this guy. Look at I do like the highlighter. We're going to have to buy him a new highlighter. Well, there you go. A new highlighter. He ran out of ink. He ran out of ink. But as I was doing my hours and hours of prep work, I noticed Trey Scott has five tackles on the – Year. Oh, five man. tackles for Trace. He's got uh, one solo and four uh, together. And I, I made a point to tell Emma when she was in my office. Oh, I said, yeah. hey. Emma Bowling. So there you go. Demond Thornton says, "Let's set the let's tone tonight." Go. Gary County, come out and punch them oh, in the mouth. Oh man! Hey, I like he must know that. Jim Freeman. Here you go. <laughs> Judy says, "Lake Havasu." That's Arizona. close. You were close. That's close. And went over to Started California. Started with an H. To a casino. Hey, wow. So, listen, I heard, Judy, I hope it's not happening. Las Vegas, I heard this week, has had a uh, – had a. I guess they've had a cyber attack. Wow. And these people on a couple – like GM or something. So, Judy, be careful out Stay there. Stay safe. Yeah, those MGM. cyber attacks. Yeah, the MGM. MGM, MGM. whatever. Yeah. They, you be careful from those attacks from cyber people. As, uh, that is never a good thing. That's not a good so thing. So, folks, we're going to go ahead and take our break, and we'll be back. And Coach Gresham will uh, hunt – get to our hunt insurance keys of the game for tonight as Gary County Golden Lions are welcoming in the East Jessamine Jaguars just at 17 minutes to go before kickoff here at Die House Stadium. This is Golden Lion football on the Golden Lion Sports Network from the countryside BP Studios. Bob Allen is Dan Full's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community. Whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture, we're here with you every step of the way. Enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for our community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Gary County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. 
Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. And welcome back, folks, as it's about time to pay tribute to our great country in the playing of the national anthem by our high school band as the JROTC under the direction of Mr. Condon. And there you have it, folks, is that is the National Anthem played by our award-winning high school band under the direction of the godfather, the Doctor Doctor Vance. As uh, everybody knows, Dr. Vance, while we get here, we've got a special guest that we've really quickly brought up here, and she has had no time to prepare, but this is Miss Melissa Irwin. And, and Melissa, no, sorry. Uh, Taylor. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got you. I've got, I've got all messed up. <laughs> Melissa is the president of the Gary County Chamber, oh, yeah. as uh, she has some big shoes to Feel as Coach Gresham oh, was, uh, yeah. was the president last year. We've got a only big go event. Up from there. Only go up. We got a big event coming up in two weeks. Melissa, tell us a little bit about it with the uh, Farm City Banquet. Our Farm City Banquet is Thursday, September 28th at the Ashley Inn. Mm -hmm. You can go to Garrett County uh, or GarrettChamber.org mm -hmm. uh, to find out more information about uh, our speakers, our awards, all the great things that we have. Great planned. stuff! Yeah. Lots of great stuff. Going to be have some great awards to some of our, you know, business of the year, yes. business people of the year, yes. and and so the process, uh, you know, the nominations were out of the roof this year. They That's absolutely awesome. were. Yes, yes. we had good. hundreds. I love it. So that was great. Oh, I absolutely yeah. love it. And you have a great meal that particular night. It's something that really celebrates the community. Yes. And it celebrates just all the great businesses that's yes. in our community. And also tell them a little bit about the chamber. If, oh, yeah. if you have somebody that's not a member uh, and how they could how they could be a part. So we have 135 members wow. currently. That is great. Um, and I think that's the most we've had in, in a long time, if ever. Good leadership. So Good leadership. there you go. Um, thanks to Stephanie Putnam. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so job. we, uh, you know, the networking opportunities there right. with 135 other members, um, it, it's just great. You can get uh, so much contact uh, with other people in the community by being a member, attending uh, our events, and you can go to GarrettChamber.org to become a member to join anytime. That's, right. Right. That's and if, right. If nothing else, you get to hang out with us. Right. All right. Who would want to do that? Exactly. Once do that. a month on 8 o'clock in the Absolutely. morning, we have, we have the best coffee. We do have the best, <laughs> we coffee. Have the best coffee. So if you, if you haven't, if you haven't heard of the Farm City Banquet is coming up in two weeks. Phenomenal it'll, be a, event. it'll be a week from this coming Thursday. I, I believe that it was it was supposed to uh, not have any more tickets sold, but I believe we can make it happen. So go to <laughs> that website. Bowling said. Scott Bowling go to that said. website and, uh, and make sure, because hey, as a matter of fact, I bought mine this morning. Uh, and I'm going to tell you this. We are so blessed to have Melissa uh, to be a part of this community. Absolutely. You know, yes, uh, Melissa
Melissa is serving as the uh, president this year of the chamber. Man, Melissa is so invested, loves Garrett County. Man, Absolutely. you're just a, a huge, uh, uh, you know, uh, community participant. Right. Uh, you're you. involved, engaged, invested in our community, so we appreciate that. Great. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we you. appreciate all that you yes. do and your awesome family. Your lovely daughter is over there sitting, and she's rolling her eyes saying, come on, Mom. <laughs> Does she want to join us? we got to go see it. You want to come and see <laughs> You sure you don't want to Talk about balloons? <laughs> she's shaking her head. No. She's talk, shaking her head. Talk about her balloon right, business real right. quick. Yeah, absolutely. Give her a plug. Yeah. So she is great. She is very creative, and her little engineering background yeah, really helps her we'll produce a, a wonderful, wonderful decorations with balloons. So where can they find her work or get in touch with her? About uh, Blooming her Balloons Kentucky. All Instagram, right. Facebook. Shoo, all that stuff. Oh, man, yeah. she's got all, it going yeah. on. All that, you know, up-to-date stuff, yeah. which we're not. Just like All menus. stuff yeah. we can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A, if it's not AOL, I don't really know oh, about it. Hotmail. Hotmail. <laughs> Hotmail.com. This is Melissa. Thank you so much. As she is Thanks. our chamber yes. president. Rockstar. And she also Rockstar. has a, an accounting business here in Garrett County. So if uh, anything that you need, she's uh, she's able to uh, to be there with her. And, again, Caleb, this is just an, uh, another opportunity of the awesome folks that we have in our community and the great stuff that they do. And speaking of the, the chamber and, and what the, they have the opportunity to do, just seeing that number grow. Oh, over the last three years. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, it has and, been fantastic. And we are blessed. Stephanie Putnam, uh, serving as the executive director for the Garrett Chamber, just does a phenomenal job. So innovative, creative, uh, uh, spends so much time uh, advancing uh, the, the Chamber's mission, supporting local businesses, making sure that uh, the local businesses have the marketing aspects that mm -hmm. they need and, and people you know kind of know around Garrett County and Lake Lester and the surrounding areas what's available in Garrett County. Folks, we're about eight minutes away from tonight's kickoff action. We're we're going to go ahead and take one more break, and we will be back. As we come back, we're going to hit the first Southern Spotlight this week as we will give you one of the fantastic, another one of the fantastic folks here in the Garrett County community. This is Garrett County Golden Lion Football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network and the Countryside BP Studios. Bob Allen is Danville's dealmaker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends. Your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community. Whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture, we're here with you every step of the way. Enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. 
Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And we are back here, folks, at Die House Stadium as the captains are about to make their way to midfield for the coin toss as we got uh, Nathaniel Daughtery, Caleb Sinners, J.T. Parsons, and Hayden Elman making their way to the midfield as they have their Cardinal jerseys, their gold uh, pants, and their Cardinal helmet as they have white letters as it is lined by gold. And, folks, this is going to be a big night of football as Gary County is uh, both teams actually is coming into the game 0-4 as this is going to be a game that uh, both teams are getting ready to uh, to to trampoline their uh, their season. And, Coach, well, the reason we say that is this is not district play. That's right. And so it's a matter of getting to district play. To be fair, it doesn't matter if you just get, get district play 6-0 and or 0-6. That's right. Just get better. Just get better better when you get to district play and I know coach uh, coach Crutchfield and all of his folks and his staff that's one of the things that they're working on Melinda Stark says she Melinda Starks Adams says cheering all the way from Gatlinburg Tennessee tonight wow. while on vacation welcome in let's go GC India Harvey said look Love no that. worries I got you covered at highlighters uh, speaking of that the message from Colts Run and Sarah Edgerton is you learn how to highlight from Ashley Bowling <laughs> well listen yep. well that that's kind of true like she <laughs> she color codes <laughs> Even, so if she has a list of things to color coat, she will color coat that list. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it is it is the worst. Donna Hawker says, go Let's Lions. go. And Judy Gardner says that we're going to Scottsdale, Arizona on Wednesday my for goodness. an Elvis festival. Man, I want to wake up and be Judy Gardner Man, for a no day. Doubt. I love that line. No oh, doubt. my She's gosh. Gonna, we're going to have to give her hey. some of uh, the cameras let her start and doing then some recording. We won't definitely want to give some love to our man, John Moore. Man, what a great oh, dude. Oh, my wow. goodness. What a meal Come on, Mr. Now. John Moore provided for us <laughs> during the pregame here. So, so the thing about it is, is we get the opportunity to uh, to do the middle school game last night, and, and John came up and said something about, "Hey, I'll bring you a little bit of, you know, a little bring bit of food. some sliders, bring Part- some sliders." That's yeah. what he said. And I said, "Man, well, great, dude, oh absolutely goodness. love it." Well, dude, he brought us a feast. A oh, feast. He brought us goodness. like twenty sliders and a and bacon a, and cheese. Ba- yeah, with bacon and cheese on <laughs> it, oh macaroni gosh. and cheese with bacon in it, oh, and uh, and then we had cake. a cheesecake. Hey, I mean, and, and I said I wasn't going to eat a piece. No. Yeah. And I lived up to that because I ate a piece and a half. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. No doubt about that, folks. Uh, so we are really appreciative of that. One of the things that we want to kind of get to here uh, with Irvin Group scoreboard has a minute and 55 seconds left here before kickoff. Uh, the hunt insurance uh, keys of this game, uh, and I'm going to echo the words that Coach Crutchfield had for us, uh, was he really challenged the team this week to play a clean game. Uh, you know, what we've seen in three of the four games so far uh, has a pick six. Uh, so an interception to kind of return for a touchdown. Really want to clean that up tonight. Uh, seen some untimely fumbles uh, along the way as well. Uh, and so, you know, that, that, that's a challenge that Coach Crutchfield really kind of laid out this week. Let's kind of limit the turnovers. Let's clean up penalties. Let's play a clean game. So I think that's one of the, the definite uh, hunt insurance keys to this game. The other part is, you know, Coach Crutchfield uh, really alluded to this uh, uh, during the Farmers Bank Texas and old coach's interview, never really has to worry about the effort of the team. Uh, so, so you know, he appreciates the effort, but he's looking for execution tonight. Right. Uh, and, and what he shared with me is you can play as hard as you want to, but if you're doing the wrong thing, you're, you're You've got the wrong assignment, either on offense or defense. That's not going to be a successful play, which will not become a successful outcome. So he wants to keep the intensity, uh, keep the effort where it's at, but he wants to kind of parlay that into making sure that they're executing tonight and doing what needs to be done to get a big victory. Well, one thing we are perfect on the season is I did not see who won the flip, as I have uh, made <laughs> made that uh, an absolute. Right? I am a consistent, if nothing else, as it looks like. I'm not sure who won it, but East Chester will be kicking off to Garrett County uh, to begin. 
begin tonight's football game as Lori Ann McGee says, let's, let's go, go, GC. Dwayne Stipe chicken in let's says, go. roll pride. As my man Barry Walton oh, says, bring Barry on Walton. the win, GC. Let's go. Hey, you believe it's Larry and Judy Duggins oh, checking in. And they, they said they're cheering for the Lions. Let's Prayers go. for my man uh, Larry Duggins as he spent a lot of time in the hospital oh, the last for you, month or so. And uh, we're so excited that he's home. And we're so excited that he's back. And I know that they uh, always want to check in and watch the Garrett County Golden Lions as it is football action here on homecoming night at Die House Stadium. Wow. And, wow, what a foot on this young man as Hayden Ellman is going to take it a foot uh, into the end zone and they blow it dead. Yes. Oh, I guess you can't do that, right? Well, that, that's what we talked about last week down in Somerset. In high school, it's all about the football. Right. Uh, so the football kind of crossed into the end zone, which blows the whistle or which makes the ball dead, uh, which means the Golden Lions will start on their own 20 uh, the 20 yard line here. Number three, Justin Parsons leads the Golden Lions out tonight as Justin is uh, 39 of 82 on the year for 454 yards and one, t one touchdown, averaging just over 113 yards a game in the air. As Justin's going to take the uh, snap, hand it to Malachi Simmons as Malachi is going to dive forward for about three. It'll bring up second and seven for the Lions. You know, one thing that the Gold Lions really got going last week down in Somerset was this ground game. Uh, so I, I think that was something that was positive. I think that's something that uh, Coach Crutchfield uh, in this offensive staff can kind of really build on because that's the foundation uh, no doubt. of Gary Kenny offense is a good, strong running game. No doubt about that. Elijah Jones is praying for Brother Larry. I know Absolutely. he appreciates that, man. Billy Goldsmith says tonight's Let's Go, Billy Good G. Good luck. Good luck, Chloe Middleton. You, if you may not know this, Coach, but she won. She won. She is the uh, the queen, as you might have missed that early. As That's going to be a, about a yard gain just off the right side for Malachi as it will bring up third and six for the goal line. Yeah, you know, kind of feels like a, 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 an important third down play even early in this game. I tell you what, what a crowd that Gary County oh, man. Uh, has kind of brought out here tonight. East Chessman is on the sidelines uh, really being active and cheering and having a lot of energy. Man, what a great football night. Beautiful weather. Where Beautiful. would you rather be? Uh, absolutely. We have a lot of folks here for homecoming, uh, for the festivities, for the football game, but we've also got two or three class reunions oh, going man, on. That is so awesome. As uh, they just uh, – they just – we're able to to yell at one and tell them how awesome they were, and we've got another one set up there. And I don't want to say exactly what it's. it's I think it's 1970. Oh, look at that so. run by Come Cam on, Peak. That's first that's down. That's going to be a Bob Allen first down wow. and more. As Garrett County will move the football tonight, as they continue marching on this first drive. And, and I tell you, great job by the edge blocking for Garrett County. Great job by Cam Peak, uh, running with intentionality, running with effort, getting that football, and kind of making his mind that nobody. Nobody stopping me until I cross that first down marker. You know, it's always great when you have folks come in here from, from different places and they just brag on the facility. I know they were talking about it earlier tonight, Coach, just how great this uh, grass field looks oh, beautiful. Uh, here at Die House Stadium. Malachi Simmons with the handoff following Nate Daughter. Wow, look at down that. In the middle. That's going to be right at the first down markers. That could possibly be another Bob Allen first down. It's actually going to be just short. Let's bring up second and one, maybe two for the goal lines. You know, great job by Caleb Sinners down in there. Great job. Uh, by the Murphy brothers, uh, Trey Boyd, uh, Elijah Coffey, really doing a nice job kind of moving these chessmen uh, off the football. Great job by the thing that already kind of being that lead block, lead bl uh, block uh, for Garrett County. We've got a uh, kind of uniform uh, malfunction uniform. there on Malachi. While we get that, a shout-out to my good buddy, Gustavo Cabaria, as he is a big-time golfer. We play lots of golf. Oh, he broke par today for the wow. first time in his life. I'm so friend. proud of him. I'm so proud of him. And uh, shot 71 over there at Danville Country Club as this is going to be shotgun out of the Wildcat as that's going to be Hayden Elliman's going to have whoa, enough whoa. for the first down. Whoa, my he's got goodness. a hold. He's got a hold of uh, John Connors. Actually, that wasn't John Connor. That was a. Uh, David Trey Grubbs he had, had a hold of, of his face, face mask. mask, and the Geary County sideline was kind of asking what was going on. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take a break as we have somebody down on the field from East Chester. This is Geary County Golden Lion football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands. Family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. 
protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. And welcome back, folks. We have an injured player here for East Chessman as they're attending uh, to them as the young man is now setting up. Coach, did you know this? Uh, Dwayne Stipe just said former GC line, JT Lyons, oh, is yeah. coaching for He's the Chessman. defensive coordinator. I had no did, idea. Did you listen to the coach's interview, the Farmers Bank Texas coach? Which, which part? <laughs> that may have been a cutout part because I don't remember that happening. Hey, go back and watch uh, it. Well, I'll have to go back and sign it. I mean, <laughs> one way or the other, it is what it is. Amy Logan chimes in and said it's 1976. Oh, 1976. Yeah. Let's go. My apologies. <laughs> Uh, so I knew it was right around in there, but man, that's like trying to guess somebody's age. I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to guess too low, but I knew it was right in that area. Mon Thornton says that's a grown man run. Oh, I right agree there. with her. Hey, listen, uh, India Harvey has asked Project Graduation. Really appreciate everything that India does, uh, dedicating her time and effort with Project Graduation. Big homecoming dance uh, tomorrow night at Gary County High School between 7:30 and 11:30. Single tickets are 15, couples tickets are 20, and at the door you can buy tickets for 25 dollars. 11:30. Man, I'm, I'll be, I've been asleep for two hours yeah. by 1130. First down and 10 for the goal lines as Malachi Simmons is going to get hit in the backfield. Oh, it's going to be a man. fumble. It's going to be picked up by East Jessman as Hayden Elliman will uh, tackle the East Jessman. I guess that's Bates Davenport that picks up the fumble as East Jessman will now have it first and 10 deep in the Garrett County territory. Yeah, I mean, again, that, that kind of goes back to, you know, the hunt insurance key, the keys of this game is playing a clean game. Uh, you know, kind of unfortunate there. Malachi doing his best kind of run the football get get many uh get as many extra yards as he can unfortunately for the goal lines the ball comes loose and i tell you what if it wasn't for hayden ellum that would have been the scoop and score uh so now it's a big time defensive stand uh, coming up for gary county trying to get some of the, this momentum back on their side and you're right coach it was just getting into the situation he was just trying to get those extra yards his quarterback dante parker morton will lead the jaguars out here as he's going to try to hand off to the left he's going to roll out to the left and have a wide open wide receiver as that is number five, Cameron Smith, as that is a first down and 10 for the Jaguars. Yeah, good play design right there for East Jessman there, kind of having a bootleg uh, for the quarterback, kind of getting out on the edge, kind of puts the defense in a really tough position of trying to stop the quarterback from running, uh, really drag that tight end across the field, found the tight end, made a big play for East Jessman. Walking up the stairs right now with his two young, it is our man Leonard, Leonard Harrison. Harrison. As he's one of our great sponsors with uh, Mark's Berry Farm. As this is going to be a handoff up the middle, they're going to be shy of the goal line. Looks like it'll be second and goal from about the five. I tell you, folks, I'm not trying to be critical here, uh, but that was almost a late hit on East Chessman. And one, two, we've seen two plays so far. An East Chessman player had a hold of a Gary County helmet, <laughs> and almost it. a late hit. And I'm not trying to be critical here, but the back judge keeps looking at his watch. Uh, so, I mean, by rule, he's really only supposed to be looking at his watch for a delay of game. Oh, it's an Apple uh, watch. He yeah, probably not, got a couple of really <laughs> nice Maybe he's watching our replay. <laughs> He might be watching the replay. My see if I goodness. Miss that. Second and goal for the Jaguars from the five as quarterback is going to end off go. this time up the middle. There's nothing there as that is number 11, Payson Muse, uh, Peyton Music, as he is stopped in his tracks. As a matter of fact, may have lost a yard. Yeah, meet Mr. Carson Schultz right up in the middle for Garrett 100%. County. Nice job by Schultz kind of getting in there, kind of standing him up. Caleb Center's doing a great job down low for Garrett listen, County. Listen to our man Chuck Hunt said, boy, I don't know what oh, we did right to hear the gold go. voices two times in one week. The oh, gold man. voices. Listen, I like it. Listen, just keep telling everybody. There's not enough people know that, Chuck. <laughs> just you're the only one to ever say that. We appreciate you, Big man. Play praying for you, here. buddy. Third and go as he's going to roll out to the left. That is quarterback Dante Parker Morton as he gets in to the end zone as it scores here. They strike first blood as she's Jessman on your Urban Group scoreboard leads 6-0 with 7.56 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, I tell you, Dante Parker-Morton is a nice nice athlete. You know, uh, Coach Crutchfield was really talking about, uh, you know, how, how athletic some of these East Jessman offensive players are. Great to hear from you, Chuck, buddy. Keep praying for you, man. You keep, you keep grinding. Keep fighting, my friend. As kicker, Isaac Johnson into the game for the Jaguars. As he's five of six on the year from extra points. And there's going to be a timeout. East Jessman has found something they really didn't like. 
And let's keep it right here just for a second, Coach. Yeah, they so, had 10 on the field is what the problem was. Well, that could be an issue. Yeah. Uh, that could be an issue. But, again, you can't fault the effort that the, the Golden Lions had on that first offensive drive. You always want to try to get those extra yards. That, you know, you, you talk about yak yards after contact. But uh, but that particular time, trying to get that is when the ball was able to come out. Yeah, so, no, you got to respond. You right. know, it's kind of one of those shock plays. Uh, and, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of these shock plays kind of go uh, against the Golden Lions uh, at the early uh, onset uh, part of this season. But, you know, it's one of these things, again, Coach Crutchfield's alluded to this, never faults the effort. Uh, now it's time to kind of really practice some perseverance and some grit uh, and kind of overcome some adversity here early for the Gold Lines. Dante Parker-Morton will be the holder for the Jaguars. Again, Isaac Johnson, the six foot four senior, is the punter and place kicker for East Jessman. As, again, he is 5-6 of six on the year for 83% for the Jags. Man, that was good. Can you believe that? Yeah. I just rolled that thing Man. right in there. Like I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Awaiting the snap is Morton. Snap is good. Hold is good. And kick is good. What a, a leg on leg. that young man. <laughs> and that puts your Urban Group scoreboard to read. East Chestnut Jaguar 7. Gary County Golden Lions 0. We'll be right back. This is Gary County Golden Lions football on the Golden Lions Sports Network. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for our community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. And welcome back, folks, as Jagger Wood takes the kickoff as he's into East Jessamine territory. As that's a approximately 46-yard return for Wood as Garrett County will take over in their second possession in East Jessamine's territory, first and 10 from the East Jessamine 49-yard line. You know, and again, that kind of gets a lot of energy back on the Garrett County sideline there. So, uh, really big drive coming up for the goal lines here. After that uh, turnover, East Jessamine doing a great job of capitalizing on that, putting a, uh, you know, putting it in the end zone, kind of uh, getting out on a 7-0 start. Let's see how these goal lines respond here in this drive. Kind of going, checks in, says, let's, let's go. go lines. As in shotgun formation is Parsons. As he has twins out to his right, hands off to Malachi Simmons as he's going to bounce it out to the right side, and he will be dropped as that is quarterback for uh, the East Jessamine Jaguars, Dante Parker-Morton, coming up from the linebacking position. Every Gold Line fan knows whether it's game day or every day, the good folks at Countryside BP have exactly what you need. Gas, coffee, snacks for the big game. Stop in today at 25 Camp Dick Road. Gary County will have it second and 16 as that took them back into their own territory where they'll be uh, second and 16 from the 46-yard line. Really nice job defensively that time by Morton as he was flying from that outside linebacker position to get to Malachi as this time Parsons is going to drop back to float one down to Hayden Elliman. And Hayden is no. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Goodness gracious. There's no flag on the play as he was I, I, folks, I'll be honest. down. I, I, I think the two officials were looking at each other thinking the other one was going to call the, going to call the flag. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure uh, about about what was happening there because the kid just took his arm up. Oh, my and, goodness. And drug him down. Woo. I think he's looking at that Apple Watch again. <laughs> he's not one to look over here at Coach Hester. Yeah, I, I, don't, I wouldn't I want don't to be looking over him, here so either. It's going to be third, third and 16 hey, you know, for the Golden Lions. Got to play through it. Got to play through it. Got to right play here. through it. Let's just run that same play again as lets it go one-on-one. -on -one. As that was uh, that was a really nice thrown ball, uh, just a little shy as Elman turns to go back to the football. 
As Parsons looking over the East Jessman defense, he's going to turn and fake the, fake the pitch out to the right side as he's going to elude the defense and throws it one time. It'll be incomplete as he was trying to get away from the East Jessman pressure. And that well, will bring up a punting down for the I, Golden Lions. So I'm going to say this, and this is the last time I'm going to say this, really concerned about the back end of this officiating crew. Uh, I mean, what I've seen in the, in the first five minutes and six seconds does not comfort me uh, about what, what might happen for the rest so of the game. Whatsoever. 100% agree as a uh, coach is, uh, is telling his concerns to the White House, to the White Hat as uh, the White House. That would be really interesting <laughs> if, if uh, Coach Crutchfield just goes ahead and brings his concerns to the White House as Wood is on for the Golden Lions as they are going to be in a punt situation. Better get that one off, and he does as he gets a really good kick as it's going to take a bounce. So we got a flag, right so it's going to be interesting to see if this is running into the kicker or roughing the kicker. I hope so. If, if it's running, it's going to be a five-yard penalty. If it's roughing, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty, uh, an automatic uh, first down. Our man, Derek Lynch, DL, is baby. checking us out tonight. DL. Vanna is checking out the goal lines. Yeah. Ray Ree is cheering on the goal lines. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing automatic first down. Roughing the hey, kicker. And we got to give a shout out to the, our guy, M Squared. M Squared. M -squared, is he's in there. squared Listen, the goat, the Scott goat. Bottoms. The goat, M Squared, is definitely in there. M -squared. As DL just took his shirt off and got his big GC. <laughs> his lucky painted. shirt. He's got oh, his lucky yeah. shirt. GC is painted on his chest, Let's folks. Let's go. As Garrett County now will have it first and 10 after the personal foul. So it's one of those things now, you know, Garrett County's got to settle down. Wasn't real happy about, uh, uh, you know, that offensive series here, but kind of got new life right here, almost like a turnover uh, for no East Chessman, kind of putting the ball, uh, kind of getting fortunate uh, with the rough and the kicker. Now Garrett County's cooking here. Got first down and 10 on the East Chessman 39-yard line. Irving Group scoreboard has six minutes and 46 seconds left here in the first quarter. Uh, East Chessman seven, your Garrett County goal line zero. Parsons brings the play in from the sideline as he's going to be flanked with Malachi Simmons just to his right. As he's going to hand off to Malachi off the left side this time as he's going to fight for a little extra yardage. Oh, as strong he's probably, run. probably going to say uh, give him three yards and it'll be second and seven for the Golden Lions. So one thing, uh, again, the Farmers Bank X's and O's coach's interview uh, that, that Coach Crutchfield alluded to was, you know, JT Line, uh, a former alumni. Scott former Bowman. alumni. Yeah. That is really big, folks. <laughs> if you don't know about a former alumni, please hang in there. I will tell you or Evan Preston oh, yeah. will tell so you. So JT Line uh, is the defense coordinator for East Chessman. It's really aggressive. Uh, yeah. And what Coach Crutchfield uh, talked about was you know they do play aggressive uh, kind of defense, uh, send a lot of linebackers, do a lot of blitz, and so it's either kind of feast or famine uh, here tonight. Parsons awaiting the snap from centers. Parsons drops back to throw this time as he's going to throw one out as he has Hayden Elliman and he's going to be caught. Are you kidding yes. me? Yes. Oh, what a catch. My goodness. What a catch. Fantastic as he makes an adjustment while the ball's in the air to come back and get that ball. As oh, what a great play. Whoa. Man, what a catch. Did a great job getting his hands underneath that football and kind of coming up with a big catch for the goal lines. Man, it is going to be. First and 10 for Gary County, 5.56 to go, and the clock will be running here in the first quarter. Gary County trails in your urban group scoreboard, 7-0. to zero. Parsons in shotgun formation. Hands off to Macal Malachi Simmons off the left side. Not much there. We may give him uh, the, the push is going to get him coming backwards, but uh, we're going to get to uh, dead ball at the spot. Yeah, you know, White Hat's doing a good job just asking Malachi to kind of calm down a little bit. Malachi's playing with a lot of intensity. That's why, that's why he's really hard to tackle. Right, uh, no doubt. Man, Malachi gives every single thing he has carrying that football for Garrett County. Second and nine from the Golden Lions from the 10-yard line of East Jessamine. Second and nine from the Golden Lions. As actually, it looks like they can get a first down, yeah, but it yeah. would be barely. I'm not sure you could really fit a, the length of a football in from that pylon to the marker, but we'll see. Hopefully it won't matter. Four minutes and 45 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Parsons with Peak just off to his left. Hayden Elliman is going to be cleared out to the boundary as Peak is going to make one person miss and 
He Shesman does a really nice job as they are swarming all yeah, over. They really the are. So, so one of the things you know that Coach Crutchfield has already kind of seen, you know, East Chessman really kind of packing the box. Uh, I'm sure kind of saw film on how effective Gary County's running attack was against Somerset last week. Uh, so East Chessman's doing a great job of kind of packing that box. I think that's why you've seen uh, Coach Crutchfield kind of go to this uh, passing game, uh, kind of thrown already kind of two fades uh, because a lot of times when they're packing the box and blitzing like East Chessman is, you got one on one matchups right out there on the perimeter. Kind of see. Gary Kenny uh, kind of going back to Hayden Elliman or Cam Peak out here on the perimeter. I'll tell you, if they go one-on-one -on -one with Hayden Elliman, I'd take that matchup all warrior. night, all night long. Third and 14 for the Golden Lions. Parsons shot back looking for Elliman as he's going to throw one out to Peak in the end zone as it's going to be oh! caught! Oh! Touchdown! Gary County! Did it! Did it! Did it! Did it! Cam Peak That's went up at oh! five oh! point. My word! Wow. wow. A cat. Oh, my goodness. By wow. Cam P. Hey, That's I, I, fantastic. So, Nan and Pops wanted to uh, congratulate him for a, a happy belated birthday. Oh, yeah. I definitely wanted Absolutely. to kind of uh, bring that. Hey, Gary County just scored. You can score a job now at Nesco Resource in Danville, Harrodsburg, and Stanford. Call 859-238-0058. Onto the game or on the field for Gary County. Kick the extra point is number 33, Zach Daly. There's Zach awaiting the snap. As Hayden Elliman will be doing the holding duties, J.T. Parsons will be the snapper. Good snap, good hold, good kick, and it is good. Is good. And with that, it's all tied up on your Irving Group scoreboard. 349 to go here in the first quarter. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. We'll be right back here at County Gold Line Football here on the Gold Line Sports Network from the Countryside BP Studio. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And welcome back, folks. Zach Daly is set to kick off for the Gary County Golden Lions as it was just a uh, pitching catch with an unbelievable catch from Cam Peak for a touchdown for Gary County as that, that uh, kickoff is going to be fielded by Taylor McDonald as Taylor is going to take it up the middle where he's going to be swarmed by the Gary County Golden Lions. Cam Peak said, you got mossed. Oh, my gosh. Yes. He did. Oh, my goodness. My if you weren't goodness. able to see that in the uh, in the highlight. It looked better in on the, the slow replay. motion replay. Mercy day. <laughs> as Cam went up and got it at his highest point. And took it. Dalton Osborne said, let's go, Gary County. Let's get it go. done. Tyler Collier says, come on, boys. Let's bring a win home let's tonight. Let's go. As Tyler Collier says, number seven is a playmaker. The ultimate dude, warrior. You're 100% right. He can flat make plays like you would not believe. Gary County now defense as Tyler tied up, seven to seven. East Jessman took the first turnover and punched it in line for a touchdown. As this oh! oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. Is that Ison? That is Mr. Trent Ison, ladies and gentlemen. Man, as Sean what a Reed. Oh, just, my. He just hey, got trucked. I got coach chills. Oh I swear I'm telling you right gracious. now. I just got coach chills. Holy deals. moly. Oh, man. There was, a, there was a thing you could do on Madden. A lot. It was called, like, the truck stick. Oh. You know, when you, like, hit the <laughs> truck stick truck and hit stick. it really hard? That's he what he just did. Stuck. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, there is some. If there was cobwebs some up there, there's not there. cobwebs anymore. As this is going to be second and eight for the Jaguars. As Morton takes a handoff, he's going to keep it this time. Rolling out to the left. As Morton is really quick oh, and shifty. Look, look at Hayden nice Elliman out there. Hayden Elliman. That's going to be a loss of one. As it's going to be.
second I, down, or excuse me, third down and nine. So one of the things, you're, you know, viewers are going to notice is East Chessman does run a wing T offense. Wing T offense is kind of predicated on a lot of misdirection uh, and, and kind of having a hard time counting the football. I'm going to tell you, Coach, I'm going to give you a hint tonight. I love it. And I'm going to give all it. of our viewers a hint. Watch the guards. Watch the guards. So the guards are typically going to take you to the football in a wing T offense. And I'm going to tell you, that play right there, uh, kind of a, a kind of a, a quarterback waggle run uh, for East Chessman, it looked like it was there. Oh, yeah. and, and, man, Hayden Elliman did such a nice job kind of staying home, keeping his shoulder square, and attacking uh, the quarterback there and kind of taking him down and, and resulting in his third down along for I'm his I'm really good at watching guards, but it's normally <laughs> point guards and shooting guards, <laughs> not, not guards on the offensive line. As Wharton is going to turn and throw one, this time it's going to be in the air. Oh, it's not going to be picked off, but it's incomplete. Hey, great to job by J.T. Parsons. Fourth down and nine. Well, I'm going to tell you, folks, we, we wondered, you know, the, 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 this, this game started with a fumble for Gary County, East Jessamine capitalizing on it. Uh, Gary County getting the football back, the Sutton Pharmacy scoring recap, put a nice drive together, an unbelievable catch by Campy. This has energized this team, energized this crowd. Uh, man, I love watching Gary County flying around to the football right Speaking now. Speaking of that catch, Kathy Cavanaugh chucks in and says that was an NFL play, oh, boys. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. Carolyn No said we're expecting a win. Let's go, Gary County. Carolyn, Let's one of her go. fantastic, one of her fantastic grandsons oh, as a quarterback goodness. for the seventh and eighth grade team, Ryan, Player. did an awesome job last. I mean, awesome, as this is going to be fielded by Cam Peek because he's going to try to make one person miss. He does, as that is going to be a block in the back, but not nope. called. We're good, as it's going to be taken down here at about the 46-yard line. Hey, Cam Peek has come to play tonight here, folks. He really has, and it'll be first and 10, Gary County. So I want to give our, our, our first First Southern Spotlight uh, shout-out tonight. The Gary County Schools hosted the Central Kentucky uh, Kentucky School Board Association okay. meeting this week, and, man, did an absolute phenomenal job. Uh, really uh, had uh, the potential to have a lot of student spotlights, 100%. the middle school choir, the middle school band, the high school band. Uh, man, just, just the elementary school's uh, students kind of served as uh, chaperones and kind of walked the school board members in from the, the surrounding school districts. Really proud of Garrett County this week. First and 10, Garrett County. Parsons in shotgun formation. Wood to the boundary close. As it's going to be a pitch out to Malachi Simmons. As he's oh, look to at turn this. And throws. He has Hayden Elliman wide open. Make it miss. Hayden is going to make one person miss. He's still on his feet, folks. He's driven out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. How about a little razzle-dazzle? Wow. Razzle-dazzle. Man, Woo. nice stuff there. Fantastic. Derek Lynch also says that was an awesome catch. I'm I telling you, the people that watch that are going to see it and say, man, oh, man, what a catch. That time it was Malachi Simmons that throws one out to uh, Hayden Elman. Lucy Miller-Jones checking in as a class of 1976 cheering on the Golden Lions as they were uh, tailgating up there by the old band oh, room goodness. tonight. As uh, we Lots of folks with, with Gary County pride just all over their face. We're so glad that they made it back and we're so glad that they are uh, are able to uh, be with us tonight on home camera. Look at Malachi, Malachi Simmons, Simmons running that the football. Right side. Stay on your feet, big guy. That's going to be a Bob Allen. Wow. First down, another Bob Allen first down. We're to be first and goal, Gary County, from approximately the five or six yard line. Hey, our friend Jason Sim has checked in, saying, "Man, nice catch, nice hit." Makes make, makes me think of Jason Sims out there hitting the baseball, tackling yeah. a running back, hitting a blitzing uh, linebacker. Man, what a player Jason Sims was back in the day. Well, I tell you, I don't want to think about Jason Sims hitting the baseball. I saw that enough. <laughs> Were you pitching? Da- no, but I was a second base watching the ball go over my head at a high rate of speed. First and goal for the goal lines as that's going to be a flag. It's going to be false start. Gary County drive us back just a little bit. Five yards. Angie Schur checking in as she says, yes, let's go, GC. Number 11, Trey Scott. As let's John go. Sweeney, shout out to uh, to Peak as, oh man, what gosh. a great catch. Here's your boy Brandon Shuey down in Florida. Says, geez, I agree. send that one to oh, Sports man. Center. And man, I agree, Brandon. I'm not kidding. I, I really, to be honest with you, I thought the, p- the pass was picked off. I agree. And, and I, just from watching in the air, and the angle of the defenders. I thought it was going to be picked off. And Cam goes up above them, reaches over, and grabs the football. It won't, it'll be one of the better ones we see all year uh, doing this kind of stuff. Sandy Witt checks in says, way to go, GC. Let's keep it up. All right, Gary Kenny kind of hustling to the line scrimmage to avoid the delay penalty here. The hand is up as this is going to be a flip to Cam Peak as he's got room as he makes oh, it. Oh, my over goodness. Wood, got it. And gets all the way down to about hey, the two-yard line. We got thunder lightning here tonight, Holy folks. Holy cow, this is what we were expecting to see straight up from the beginning. Here at the Gary County Football Show with head coach Spencer Crutchfield on WRNZ Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock. 
Second and goal for the Gary County Golden Lions from the one yard line. 56 seconds to go and the clock continues to run as Parsons is going to go right up underneath. Quarterback snake. Underneath center no. as he's going to hand it to Malachi Simmons. As he's oh, going to get right in for a touchdown. Him in. Gary <laughs> County. Gary County just scored. You can score a job now at Mesco Resource in Danville, Harrodsburg, and Stanford. Call 859-238-0058. And with that, your Urban Group scoreboard is ran to 13 to 7. The Gary Danville County. Off the, the DOE extra point coming D -O -E up here. DOE extra point by Zach Daly as he is out ready to go two for two on the night. Waiting the snap is going to be Element. Good snap, good hold, and wow, good kick. what a kick. What a leg. We're seeing two great kickers here tonight, folks. As your urban group scoreboard reads, Gary County leads East Jasper Jaguars 14-7. to We'll be right back as Gary County Golden Lions will be kicking off to the East Jasper Jaguars. This is Gary County Golden Lion football on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house, and while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. Welcome back, folks, as that kick is going to be taken by McDonald as he's going to be hit and dropped about the 26-yard line of East Jasper. Well, they'll have it first and 10, trailing on your Urban Group scoreboard, 14-7. to 7. Katie Workmeister checks in, so let's go, Devin. Elijah Jones did a great job. Gary County and Tyler Collier checking in there. He said, keep the same. Whoops, that's the wrong one. That's one he just did just a minute ago <laughs> as it flipped away from me. As we've had a lot, he said, he's going to feel that in the morning. He's talking about that oh, ice in here. And agree. holy moly. Woo! I listen, Tyler. I'm going to feel that one in the oh, morning because I jumped like you wouldn't believe as it's first and 10 as Morton awaiting the snap, looking over the Gary County defense, trailing on your Irving Group scoreboard, 14 to 7. This handoff is going to be uh, given this time out to the right side as he's going to be tracked down by, that's Cam Peak. Is that Sean Reed? As he gets strung out for a gain of about five, where it'll bring up second and five for the Jaguars. Speaking of Trent and Eisen, you know, I want to kind of uh, share a message that uh, Shante uh, Eisen had shared with me uh, during the week. Uh, Shante uh, wanted to make sure that the Golden Lines family know uh, how much that the family appreciates the card that they sent uh, and the family so thankful and appreciative of all the love that the Gary County community has shown us. Uh, so continue to love on that family. Continue to pray for that family. Uh, we love we love that Ison family. Second and five as this is going to be a handoff up the middle to a, just to the left side as there's not much cooking. Maybe a yard to bring up third and three. I believe that was Reed. I can't really tell. It's hard to tell. Uh, like you said, they run this uh, wing T. As actually that is not. That is going to be music as he gets up from the bottom of the pile. It'll be third and three for the Jaguars. You know, good job by White Crane in there. Good job by Decker. Uh, really nice job by Parsons and Ison. Uh, really being disruptive there. Big third down and a long uh, one and a half, maybe two yards. It's going to be the end of the first quarter. That brings us to the end of the first quarter, folks, with your Gary County go to Lions on your Urban Group scoreboard leading East Chessman. 14 to 7. We'll be right back here with Gary County Go Line football on the Golden Lions Sports Network. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank.
Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. And welcome back, folks. Third down and two for the Big Jaguars play. to start the second quarter as Morton awaiting the snap. He's going to hand it off just off the right side as that's going to be enough for a first down for the Jags as that looks like number 28, Zach Naylor, as he rolls right down the right side for a first down for East Chestnut. So that Sutton Pharmacy is scoring a recap. Great job by the goal lines. Uh, getting possession of the ball. Really kind of showcasing Cam Peak. Uh, uh, Malachi Simmons doing a nice job kind of getting the thunder and lightning ground game going again. Uh, putting the ball in the end zone for a big drive for Gary County. Man, Willie Hoskins is uh, just going in and saying what we said. He's like, Let's GC's go. going to win this one. No doubt about it. There's going to be flags. Yeah, it's going to be offsides on Garrett. It, uh, Garrett's kind of jumped there on that defensive line uh, a couple of times. A little bit over eager uh, there for the goal lines. Uh, we, we call it eye discipline. Eye discipline. Right? you got to have eye discipline up there. So uh, you want to be aggressive. You want to be ready to fire off the ball, but you also don't want to give uh, an easy uh, or, you know, five yards without them moving the football. First and five Jaguars after the Gary County's offsides. Or it's going to be a flip this time. Uh, actually, he's going to run the option out the right side. As that is Morton. As he's going to have a first down as he's ran out of bounds in front of the Jessamine County sideline. Where it'll be first and 10 Jaguars from the Gary County 47. First Southern spotlight goes to Mr. Noel Green, uh, music teacher at Garrett Middle School. I found out this week that Noel was named uh, the KMEA Regional a band teacher of the year. That's so, man, right. Noel does such a great job. I uh, appreciate all the dedication and commitment that Noel has uh, to support Garrett Middle and our band program. Michelle Gill says, way to go, Cam Peak. Your Georgetown family is watching oh, and cheering you on tonight. As it's going to be a low snap, it's actually going to be fumbled, picked up by number 11, Music, as he will be, he may make his way back to the original line of scrimmage. Will be second and ten for the Jaguars. You know, nice job by Caleb Centers, uh, kind of getting in there and kind of cleaning uh, that play up. Uh, Gary County also uh, number four, uh, Rio uh, Ortez, uh, doing a really nice job of kind of being disruptive, getting in the backfield and causing some disruption uh, for the uh, uh, Gary County. Tracy Gooch is giving some love to the kicker. Said, "Way to oh, go, my Zach Daly. Strong leg. Our good friend Stacy Smith, uh, Mountjoy. Oh, let's go, Stacy." What's up, guys? Let's go, GC. Get a win tonight as this is going to be a quarter direct to the quarterback. Look at Trey Boyd back Trey there. Trey Boyd is going to flush him out to the right side, and he gets ran out of bounds after the gain of about one. Yeah, so Trey did a great job of stiffing that play out. Now, one of the things that I'm sure the coaches are going to uh, kind of point out to Trey is instead of coming up field, get lateral. Right. Uh, you know, kind of keep your shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and kind of stay lateral to the line of scrimmage. But really nice job by Trey at least staying home, being disruptive, kind of limiting uh, the, the East uh, Jessman quarterback picking up just a few yards. Big third down and nine here uh, for the Gary County defense. Third down and nine as Jeremy Bull checks oh, in. Oh, man. Let's go, hey, GC. Hopefully Jeremy, he's got all the food ready for Jeremy, tomorrow. Jeremy, let's get that food ready for tomorrow, mm -hmm. my friend. See you at 9 a.m. on the bus, baby. Man, that is a.m. 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 Hey, the sure game starts at 7 30 p.m. Man, how many home games are they going to have? Oh, man, all we want, man. Sure. Big time program. This is going to be a fumble on the play as. The quarterback is going to be Dante Parker Morton is going to fall on it. Jeff, this is SEC football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all at home big boy. against big boy football. Against big Tiger. Boy football. Hey, at least we play on Saturdays. That's right. We're playing Akron Crimson Tide tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, they are. You're, you're really going to enjoy Let's Cali be honest. Tigers. You know, the, people's been talking about the strength of schedule uh, yeah. for, for Kentucky. What strength And to schedule? be fair, you know, if they had a team at the end of the year uh, that would give them some challenges, That's the strength right. of schedule would be much better. That's exactly right. It's going to be a punting down. It's coming. As Cam Peake That's is right. back to receive this punt from East Chessman. Has a really good snap. And the punt is away. As Cam is going to field this punt, it's actually going to bobble it. It's going to be fell on by Jagger Wood. 
as Cam gets kind of hit right there. Didn't call for a fair catch as he gets hit. And fortunately, Jaggerwood is very, yeah. uh, very uh, cognizant, jumps on the football and able to save yeah, it for Gary Kennedy lines. John Connor Moore and Jaggerwood both doing a great job of kind of uh, hustling down uh, just in case that punt got mishandled. Uh, good job by Gary County uh, kind of getting on that football and kind of limiting a turnover there. Moran, Poppy Scott checking in Poppy. from Rogers City, Michigan tonight. Says, let's go, GC. Wants to see another tackle by Trace Allen oh, Scott tonight. Let's go. As we get him in there I on love, special I love teams. the word Poppy. It no just doubt. makes you smile. It, makes you, it does. makes you yeah. smile. I love Poppy. Makes you smile. It's going to be first and 10. Gary County goal lines. Parsons awaiting the snap. He's going to hand it off this time to Malachi Simmons. Oh, as the goodness. ball flies out this time as it's going to be recovered. Uh, by East Jessman, as I think that is Morton. Actually, no, that is going to be James Burbage that comes up with the uh – I'm not sure what happened there. That thing flew yeah, out. Yeah, it, it absolutely did. It's one of those things, again, you know, we talk about these shock plays all the time. Uh, and so, you know, Gary County uh, really did rebound well uh, early on this game uh, after a fumble there. Let's hope this defense is able to kind of really bowl their backs and kind of keep East Jessman uh, out of the end zone here. One of our friends and former pastor at Lancaster Baptist, Bob Rush, says he's oh, checking in watching go. from Tennessee tonight as he says, let's go GC. As they are set on defense now, deep in the Gary County Territories. This is going to be a handoff to Sean oh, Reed off the right there side. There you go. That's the way to respond. He's going to be dropped maybe for a loss of a yard. Hey, so our friend Dr. Nichols has checked yes. in. You know, I, I tell you, I think I heard she went viral after that interview last she night. She probably did. Is she Dr. checking in saying, let's go Tennessee? No, no. She actually checked in, and she said she just wanted to let us know that the Kentucky game is sold out tomorrow. Yes. A sell out Man. for the See? Wildcats tomorrow See? night. The Akron Crimson Tide is what we're going to call them. Yeah, see, it's a sellout. It's Thank you, Doctor. Uh, big time Thank football. you, Doctor Nichols. Thank you, Doctor Nichols. For, uh, we appreciate you keeping up as a little Kentucky fan that you are. We so appreciate that, and it just makes us feel good about our programs. This time, it's going to be a come around the, the end, lot, off the end. That is uh, number twenty-three, Derek My Morton. Good. As they're going to uh, finally get him down, as he ran a lot of yardage, east and west, not as much north and south. Well, that's kind of what that wing T offense does. A lot of misdirection. You know, East Jessamine uh, kind of faking the running the ball up the middle, kind of bringing uh, the slot receiver around, kind of uh, kind of for like that mini reverse there. I think Cam Peak was kind of maybe asking for a hold, not being able to kind of get off the block. Third and one for the Jaguars as they trail 14-7 on your Urban Group scoreboard. 8-22 to go here in the second quarter. Hey, we're excited. The Central Kentucky uh, Federal Savings Bank halftime report. We're going to have head coach of the boys' soccer team, Yes. Uh, Jackson Moss with seniors Jefferson Absolutely. Morgan uh, and Jay Moore. So excited. Been trying to get them on for a long time. <laughs> the third time is the charm. Third time is the charm, charm buddy. Yeah. Listen, you just listen to me. I'll take care of it as they're going to measure now what do you for think? first down. I think it's short. It's you think always it's short? short. Yeah, no I doubt mean, about it. I see that from here. B. Sebastian checks in. He said, Let's man, I'm go, glad I'm B. watching y'all listen. He felt a quake out there on Danville Road after that big hit oh, earlier. And I, goodness, listen, I I'm agree. telling you, dude, I am right with you. Is That is 100% accurate. Nancy Robinson oh, look says, let's Go GC is short. I told you it's short. All they had to do was ask you. Oh, up here. Man, listen, save some guys, time. I got a great, I got a great view as that is fantastic. Amy Logan says that's a great save, Jagger, and he's exactly right. Dr. Nichols saying we are doing nothing but spitting facts. That's spitting facts. That's what she really spitting likes facts. about us is uh, we don't we don't kind of sugarcoat stuff. We want to tell you sports wise what you we're what you have to. That's I mean, it, sometimes it hurts, but we got to make sure we give you the facts about the Kentucky Wildcats as it is going to be third down and one for the Jaguars as awaiting the uh, stripes to get in position here with 820 to go 14 to 7 is your score Morton with a snap as he's going to hand off just up the middle that is Reed. It's going to be a first down excuse me that is music that is going to uh, get the first down and a couple more yards. The UK game broadcast will be on WRNZ tomorrow versus the mighty Akron Kickoff will be at 7.30. The pregame show will start at 5.30. Then after the game, stay tuned for the Netflix star wrestlers and my yeah. man, Matt Jones, Matt Jones, on the KSR postgame show. There's 7.55 to go here in the second quarter as the clock continues to uh, run as Morton awaiting the snap. 
as he's going to hand off to number seven, Reed, or on the right side. And, and, and that, that play right there is kind of the, the foundation of the wing tee offense, kind of like a little buck sweep. Typically, the quarterback will reverse out uh, and kind of hand the ball off. It's kind of like a little uh, sweep play where the guards kind of pull, everybody kind of blocks down uh, and kind of get some positive yards there for East Chessman. Gary Kane's defense doing a pretty good job of only living three yards on that play. Second and eight Jaguars from the Gary County Golden Lions, 14-yard line, 7.20 to go here in in the second quarter as Garrett County doing a nice job defensively as they've been able Let's to bow their necks. Keep them up here. Keep them out of the end Cause zone. a couple of turnovers tonight. As it's a low snap. The ball's on the ground. Be on the ground. It's, he's going to pick it up and still throw out to the flat. But it will be incomplete. Now, one he had thing, a wide open receiver. He did, but he also had about three linemen down the field. Uh, and, again, I think the Gary County coaching staff was kind of asking about, you know, kind of keep an eye on those offensive linemen getting down the field. Uh, one of the things in a, in a wing T offense, uh, again, linemen, you know, it's called the tackle box. Right. Uh, so, so they can get about three yards downfield, uh, but they can't go past that three yards. Right. And I tell you, with, with East Chessman's kicker, I wouldn't be shocked if they don't pick up a first down here for them to get in field goal. Oh, uh, no formation. doubt about it. Like I said, we're, there's going to be very few football games tonight that's going to have the uh, combination of kickers as East Chessman and Gary County does tonight. As Morton is going to keep this Option. one this time. Option off to the left as he's going to click it out to uh, Reed. As Reed is going to be gonna pick up a first right down. at the first oh, really down marker. Actually, I think he's going to be a little short, Scott. I think he's going to be, uh, nah. no, he just took a step that way. It's one of the right foot spot or left foot spot. Yeah. So it's a right foot. It's going to be a first down for East Chessman. Sean Reed averaging 21.7 yards a game. I feel like he's already got that tonight as he's had a couple of nice plays that he's been able to uh, – to gap Gary County with earlier. 6.45 to go here. Ball on the six-yard line. Ball on the six-yard line, first and goal. First and goal Both goal teams goal. have yeah, actually, Gary County has three timeouts. East Chessman has two. Our first Southern uh, Community Spotlight, want to give a shout out to uh, Michelle Hoskins. Michelle's a teacher at uh, Garrett High School, really took on a lot of the homecoming uh, activities here and, and kind of did a great job here tonight. So I appreciate dude, you, Jeff Michelle Hoskins. Pizzuto checking let's in. Go, says, let's go, Jeff. Let's go, GC. Love Jeff Pizzuto and his fantastic family. It's going to be a handoff this time to Music. Yeah, he's in. As Music is going to be no Thank signal you. yet. He's in. Yeah, touchdown. Touchdown. As that is 14-13, six minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the second quarter. I have a feeling the way this game is playing out, Coach, is going to be kind of down to the very end as it's one of those deals where uh, both teams are having lots of success. Just kind of throwing haymakers at each they other. really are. I, I really do think, Scott, I think this game is really going to come down to kind of what we've talked about uh, this week is, uh oh they're going for two here. As this is going to be a flip out to number four. Is he's going to be? No, he's out. Oh, oh, man. No, <laughs> man. Looks so to me that, like he stepped out of bounds before he got the ball the out. That was from the They throw it over. Uh, we're going to find that on the replay here. They're going to throw it to the kicker, Isaac Johnson, and he gets in as that takes your Urban Group scoreboard to read East Jessman 15, Garrett County 7. We'll be right back. This is Gary County Golden Lion Football and Golden Lion Sports Network. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And welcome back, folks, as Gary County's Cooper Witt 
takes the squib kick and moves it up to the 48, 49 yard line where Garrett County will have it first and 10 from their own 49. So I tell you, I mean, this this game is really setting up for, you know, you kind of feel like, you know, big play after big play after big play from each one of these uh, football teams. I think, I think the, the, the key to this game is going to be what team limits turnovers, what team limits penalties. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you know, yes. Yeah, so, so whatever team kind of plays the cleanest game looks like they're going to win this game tonight. Parsons going to hand off to Malachi Simmons this time off the left side as he's going to have a first down and more as he's still oh, on his feet, 30, man. 25, 20, as he gets pushed out of bounds after the gain of about 30. And I tell you what I love, Scott, you know, Malachi Simmons running his heart out, playing hard as he can. Uh, and, you know, Coach Crutchfield doing a great job getting the ball right back in his hands, oh, yeah. letting him know that he hasn't lost faith in him uh, after the two fumbles here tonight. So great job by the coaching staff, believing, continue to believe in Malachi. Better job even by Malachi kind of picking himself up, uh, showing mentally – a mental toughness, fight through adversity, picking up a big yardage there for Garrett County. First and 10, Garrett County. Hey, shout out to our man, Pastor Todd in Louisville. Pastor Todd. Oh, how about those buddy? praying lines, praying Pastor lines Todd? Lines with yep. the uh, fantasy football oh, coach. let's go. Listen, Pastor Todd, you're already guaranteed five or six wins just because your name. <laughs> That's right. That is 100% my favorite name that I've heard. Hayden Elman in the Wildcat formation this time as he's going to get swallowed up at the line of scrimmage for no gain, bring up second and 10, Garrett County. Go Gold Lines from Linex in Danville, offering protective spray-on coating in all colors for truck bed liners and surfaces. Truck accessories installed, too. Second and 10, Gary County, 540 to go here in the second quarter. And I tell you, we're, we're blessed to have Shelby and Daniel Hopkins oh, yeah, always no up here. Uh, Shelby doing a great job on the PA. Daniel doing a great job on the clock. Uh, man, the Hopkins family loves Gary County, loves Gary County athletics, just gives countless hours uh, to Gary County. Second and 10 as Elliman awaiting the snap again in shotgun formation for the Wildcat as he's going to stumble, but he gets his feeding or he gets his foot under him and he's going to get all the way out to the first down marker. Just going to be shy, possibly the length of a football. You know, good, good job by Gary Kenny's offensive line, really doing a good job kind of, uh, uh, you know, getting their pad level low, uh, kind of working that East Chessman defensive line kind of out of the way. Hayden Elliman doing a great job picking up uh, some big yards for Gary Kenny, makes his third down. Uh, M1 really manageable for the goal line. So what an athletic play by Hayden Elvin as he kind of lost his footing. And just kept and going. I, and just kept, was able to re regain his uh, his balance and able to uh, gash him for about nine. As this time it's going to be a quick handoff to Malachi Sam. He's got a Bob Allen first down and more. As that's going to be down around the 10-yard line where it could be the first and 10 or maybe first and goal. The Urban Group scoreboard has four minutes and 39 seconds left here in the second quarter. Uh, East Jessamine 15, your Garrett County Goat Lines 14. Our good friend Abby Browning says, watching from Orange Beach, oh, Alabama. Oh, my good. The home and of Andy says, Andrews. She says, let's go, let's Big go. GC. Man, Orange Beach. Kind of makes me a little jealous. Me too. Me too. You know what they always have at beaches? Golf courses. <laughs> well, I was thinking sand and nope, water. No, that's why I don't like them. <laughs> but I also, they also have sand and water on golf courses. <laughs> Unfortunately, my golf ball finds it way too much. It's going to be a gonna, flag. That's going to be offsides. East Jessman lined up. Offsides. Out of, East Jessman lined up. Offsides. That will give Gary County a free five yards. At the Garrett County Health Department, family comes first. More than half of all United States infants benefit from WIC, Nutrition Assistance and Education. WIC, which stands for Women, Infants, and Children, is a supplemental food program that provides nutrition, counseling, and support for moms before and after birth and children up to age five. Want to know if your family could benefit and qualify? It's easy. Call the Garrett County Health Department today. Laura Magger McClure says, uh, let's pull this one off, let's GC. Let's go. As we need the big W tonight. It's going to be first and five for the Gary County Golden Lions. Hand off to Malachi Simmons as he slips and falls forward, probably oh, for about three. Oh, yeah. It brings up uh, second and maybe two. They have to get to the one-yard line for a first down. Obviously, uh, the uh, touchdown boundary is a, is one yard from there. You know, good job by uh, Trey Boyd. Uh, you know, nice job there by Kate Murphy, Caleb Centers, uh, Elijah Coffey, Tristan Murphy. Uh, this Garrett County offensive line uh, kind of moving some folks out of the way and kind of getting this ground game going for the goal lines. Three minutes and 24 seconds to go here in the second quarter. East Jessman leads Garrett County on your Irving Group scoreboard. 15-14, Garrett County threatening as it's second and and two from the three-yard line of East Jessman as a handoff to Malachi Simmons as he's going to cut left, and he gets. He, he fumbled the football. Oh, I thought he scored. 
Aziz Chessman has the football uh, returning it the opposite way as Parsons is going to uh, run down the East Chessman Jaguar at about the 40-yard line. As we were right there at the uh, at the goal line. As a matter of fact, I thought he scored, uh, so I couldn't couldn't quite tell. So, nevertheless, it's going to be first and ten. East Chessman from the 36-yard line. You know, big-time shock play for East Chessman there. You talking about a, a kind of shift and uh, in, in a lot of momentum there. It looked like Gary County was kind of going in right before halftime uh, with the touchdown uh, to take the lead. Uh, unfortunately uh, for Gary County, their third fumble uh, of the night, losing to East Chessman. Again, East Chessman did a nice job of kind of capitalizing, making some big defensive plays here tonight. Gary Kane's going to have to keep this East Chessman uh, out of the end zone here. Do not want to go in the, the half because East Chessman gets the ball first in the second half, I believe. They kicked off to Gary County, so they will receive the kick after halftime. Morton awaiting the snap. As it's going to be a fumble as he gets through his hands as J.T. Parsons is going to check him down. Oh, he crushed my word. By Jagger Wood. Nice job by Morton. Man, able nice to, hit by uh, Jagger Wood. Recover. Oh, my goodness. Ends up getting a pass out into the flats for a gain of two, but he paid for it. Wow, what a hit. Jagger came flying up from the uh, corner position to bring the wood as he was uh, made him pay for that, catching that ball out in the flat. Second and eight for the Jaguars. Having some trouble with the, uh, with the yeah. exchange. Now, out of shotgun they are. Now, luckily for East Chessman, they've been able to get every they one have. of them back. Uh, man, it sure would be nice to, the, for the ball, that ball to bounce uh, Gary County's way here. Morton away to snap. It's going to be a timeout, time out, and Chessman. we'll take one, too. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads East Chessman 15, Gary County 14, 158 to go here in the second quarter. Gary County Golden Lion football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And welcome back, folks, as East Chessman has the football at their own 38-yard line, second and eight, as Morton is going to take the snap. He's going to try to throw one deep here. He's going to air one out as John Connor Moore is over there laying on protection as that pass is going to go incomplete as trying to get it to Isaac Johnson. You know, East Chessman kind of sprinted Johnson out in motion to get him out on the perimeter uh, and kind of try to take advantage of people kind of getting behind Garrett County. Uh, I tell you, good play design by East Chessman. Uh, if, if that ball was just a little bit more, uh, had a little bit more accuracy, uh, I think Garrett might be in a little trouble right there. Since 1967. And eight from the East Chessman 38-yard line, 153 to go here in the second quarter. Big play here, Coach. I Marshall. agree. I agree. Like, we, we, love to see Gary County get this ball back. Uh, I, I think Gary County's got all three timeouts. Put East Jessman in a punting situation with a good defensive stand here. Is this going to be a flip, a double flip? As they oh, really nice, nice job, job by Nathaniel Daugherty. By Nathaniel Daughter as he just stayed home, Don't very disciplined. We got a chance to talk to Nathaniel last night during the middle nice school game. As that's going to be a timeout, Gary County will keep it right here. Oh, yeah, Nathaniel did a really good. nice oh, job. Oh, my goodness. Impressive young man. Just staying at home and doing what he's uh, supposed to do. And I loved his comments last night just about how much he loves the physicality of the right. game. And that's the way he plays. Uh, there's no doubt about it that, that when you watch Nathaniel Darby play football, you know uh, that he loves that physical part of the game. Again, folks, as a reminder, the Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank Halftime Report, we're going to be joined uh, by head coach of the boys' soccer team, Jackson Moss, and seniors Jefferson. Morgan and Jade Moore. As Garrett County has each Jessman 
After their timeout, it'll be fourth down and eight. Obvious punting situation for East Chessman. 1.39 to go here in the second quarter. Garrett County just uses their first timeout on the night as they will still have two left. Look at our man, Jeff our Moss there. Honorable there. Judge Jeff Moss <laughs> making his way up to the press box tonight. As we are, we are always appreciate when Judge out. Moss sets in for us. As he always makes me look bad, uh, but he is. He's, he wore the colors tonight. He wore the colors. I'm proud yeah, of it. Him, man. I Listen, love it. Destination is, athlete destination has outfitted us well. Athlete. We sure appreciate, appreciate all Joey our friends. Hurts. As back in punting formation and is Jim going Freeman to be loves the polos. Isaac Johnson. He does love the polos. We need to get him one for a Christmas present. As really nice punt as it is going to bounce in front of Cam Peak. As Cam is, thinks about it but decides to get away from it. As no, East Jessen will eight. down it right there is Matthew Delacy. As there, Gary County will eight. take over. First and 10, kid, 129 to go. Kid's got a really strong leg. Really uh, strong leg. And kind, kind of put Gary County in kind of a funny situation here. You got 14. You got a minute 29 seconds left here on the Irvin Group scoreboard. East Jessen 15, Gary County 14. Uh, and, you know, Gary County does have two timeouts left but starts this drive on their own 14-yard line. So do you see here? Here where they try to uh, find a one-on-one -on -one matchup with either I, Peak or uh, Element. I, I think what you're going to see on this first down play is get the ball in Peak or Simmons' hands, uh, and if you pick up maybe 10, 15 yards, uh, then you kind of get into a hurry-up offense here. Peak and Element to the uh, boundary side closest to Gary County's bench. Parsons is going to uh, turn and hand off the ball to that's Malachi Simmons as he's going to gain about three. So with that being said, you kind of look like Gary County's not going to go into uh, like a hurry up motion just because of that field position. You know, kudos to the East Chestnut punter doing a real nice job uh, of kind of uh, putting Gary County deep uh, uh, in their own, uh, you know, kind of deep, deep on their own side of the field. 105 to go in the first quarter. The clock continues to run. It's going to be second and eight from the Garrett County 16-yard line. As Parsons brings in the call from the sideline as head coach Spencer Crutchfield gives him the uh, the now, marching orders. I'll tell you this. He's just one safeties are playing pretty shallow, Scott. They're about 10 yards deep. You know, and usually those safeties are about 14, 15 yards deep. It's going to be handoff just off to the right side to Simmons <laughs> as he has maybe a gain of one, maybe maybe not that much. Bring up third down and seven or eight as it's 30 seconds, and I think you're right, Coach. I think they're just going to run it to the – Run it to halftime as get it down and uh, get into halftime and, and see what we can muster up for the second half. I think it's going to be it. I think it's going to be halftime. I think you're exactly right. And they're going to run the they're going to run it down now to where it will finish as it's 10 seconds to go here in the quarter and in the half. Gary County will go to the halftime with your Urban Group scoreboard with East Jessamine leading Gary County 15-14. As folks, we've got a good one here tonight. Don't go anywhere. As at halftime, we're going to have head men's soccer coach Jackson Moss is going to be with us with two of his fantastic seniors. And we will be back to talk to Coach Moss here in just a moment. This is Garrett County Golden Lion Football on the Golden Lion Sports Network from the Countryside BP Studios. Bob Allen is right. Danville Steelmaker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community. Whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture, we're here with you every step of the way. Enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors 
be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Bob Allen is Danville's dealmaker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are and welcome back, folks, as it is homecoming here in Gary County, where tonight the Gary County Golden Lions Trail, East Jessamine on your Urban Group scoreboard, 15-14 at half. Dr. Gresham and I are fortunate to have our man, head coach Jackson Moss, with us tonight as Jackson is the head coach of the Gary County men's soccer team. And Jackson, this is our third time trying to get you in here. <laughs> third time's yeah. a charm. Third and, time's and a charm. Live, so this is oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> this is live, so we can't, we can't drop anything. Thousands and thousands no, of, no of dump, folks watching. No dump bucket <laughs> button, right? So, so, Jackson, you know, you guys are having a very successful oh, season here in your first yeah. season and your first campaign as a head coach. Tell us first and foremost, before we get into the season, what's it like? You've been an assistant coach for a while, but now moving over to the big seat or 
or the, wherever you stand on the bench. What, what's it like now having uh, that pressure as being head coach? I, I love it. Um, you love? The pressure, I don't feel it. Just Good. because I've got the, the best group of guys I could have. I've got the best staff. Right. I've got the best assistant coaches. Right. I've got parents that support me, and it's it's been awesome. Well, that's fantastic. I love it. So, Jackson, one of the things that, that, that I just – you can feel every time you talk to you about Garrett County is your love that you have for Garrett County. 100%. Uh, so kind of take what Coach Bolin was talking about and kind of advance it on what does it mean to also lead the program that you played at, uh, that you were an assistant coach under, and now that you're leading the program. I, that, it's everything. That I, I'm doing this because, one, I love these boys and getting to be the assistant coach right. for them for two years. Like they're, I, I mean it when I say they're the best group of guys. Uh, but, two, like Garrett County is – it made me who I am, and right. that's why that's why I went to school and came back and wanted to teach here. 100%. Uh, that's why I, I, I'm blessed and so honored to be able to coach here, um, to combine my love of soccer and my love for this this county, this town, this community. It, it means everything to me. So and, it's ironic. So see if this happens to you. So the first year I was the head boys basketball coach, my number one, one of my seniors on my on my first team, my number one senior team is now the head coach of the football team. Wow. So when Spencer wow. Crutchfield was, was first. So when we got our guys over here, here so one of these days when you're not coaching and they're in yours it, it really is it's very it's a you, you have uh, lots of pride because you swear you're from and not only are you getting to coach these kids in a in a soccer atmosphere but you're changing lives you oh, know yeah. you're having the opportunity to be a mentor to these young men which is going to be far more reaching than any that, soccer game i hope i hope I'm, right. I'm having that effect and uh, again i a reason why I teach right it is to make a, make a positive impact on the community that made me who I am. Hundred um, percent. And this program made me who I am, and, right. and that's I, that's all I want to do. So Just Jackson, try to make it a little better in, in any way I can. Well, that's you've right. made it better. Uh, it's, it's evident of the seven four and two record uh-huh. uh, that the Golden Lions have picked up a big win against Lincoln County mm-hmm. uh, earlier in the year. The first win against Lincoln County since two thousand fifteen. Yep. Uh, so kind of talk to us about how the season uh, has progressed so far, and kind of what you expect for the rest this, of the season. This spring when we started practices towards the end of February just at volunteer practice that's what we've been telling the boys we have the most skilled and a Garrett County roster may have ever had before right these these kids are, are better than my teams were in 2015 right. my senior year when we beat Lincoln County last uh, so it's all been working towards getting those district wins making a run in the district tournament right. and making it to regions the girls have done it the girls oh, yeah. soccer team has made it to the regional tournament and done well in it the boys never have right and that and the boys have known the last three years when when things started to take a turn and we started uh, to look better that this right. was that's the main goal that's the end goal and and we are right on track where we need Amen. to be we get that's better right. every day and, and we're gonna do it that's right well i have to it. ask you something real quick before we get one of your seniors to come in so we had the opportunity to do one of your games the other night fantastic we absolutely love it you guys it. killed it i watched it back I, well, well, I don't know about that but soccer knowledge about soccer knowledge. About his soccer so this knowledge. is going to shock you i don't know a lot about soccer i know well, you, you know, know what a corner kick is i do know what a corner kick is i was shocked at how physical the game oh, was. Goodness. That game was so physical. I mean, you're seeing it out here with pads and helmets, but there was there was some big hits during that soccer match. There's a reason why KHSA recognizes two top-level contact, contact sports, sports, and it's football and soccer. I agree. Every, every regulation that the football team has to follow, we have to follow as, as according to JV games and, and middle schoolers playing JV and all that, and it is extremely physical game. And that's something that most people don't understand. I had no idea. Until you see it, until you experience it, but I've got some dogs. I had no idea. Appreciate you, brother. Good luck the rest of the the postseason. As we're going to have senior Jefferson Morgan slide in here, as little Jefferson Morgan used to be when he was at Camp Dick with me. He's not quite so little anymore, Coach, as uh, as Jefferson. Thank you for joining us, first and foremost. We appreciate it. Get that thing up there. (laughs) So you've been playing soccer as long as I've known you, right? So so tell us, what does soccer mean to you? I know this is your senior campaign, but, you know, all the time that you've been playing soccer, I mean, what, what is it about soccer that just draws you in it's just everything about it i just love the game it's to me it's just so fun to play and i watch it all the time and right i just love playing soccer it's so talk talk to us about the position you play uh, jefferson i mainly play center mid and then i i just love facilitating the ball and well making passes and when we when we broadcast our game yeah. coach Bolin, you know he loves basketball he I'm loves basketball, basketball and guy. golf right uh but one of the things he kept saying about jefferson was he's almost like a point guard yeah. uh he was out there really kind of facilitating kind of get the offensive going kind of getting the ball going uh kind of putting the ball in, in the playmaker's hand so you kind of feel like that's kind of your role out there on the field yeah 100 percent 
So when you're looking at one of the things I notice is the ball's on the left side of the field or whatever, and you're waiting for it to be reversed. But you also know what all's going on oh, on the right yeah. side of the field. Yeah. So you kind of know what everything is going on and where everything's happening. So you're having to see one play, two plays ahead, which has got to be something that is a, that's a positive for you. Yeah, I always got to keep my head spinning. I always got to be looking around the field, no matter, like, no matter where the ball is. So we just talked to Coach about how physical that oh game was goodness. the other night. Yeah. Is that something you enjoy? Do you like that physical part I of it? I love it. Like, I love getting in people's heads. I, <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. So <laughs> what do you love the most about playing soccer for Garrett County? Just playing with my teammates. I just I just love playing with these guys. It's so, so you know, we, we recorded a video, right. or we, we recorded an interview, and one of the things, Jefferson, that really stood out to me uh, when I was interviewing you, Jabe, and Coach Moss was, I mean, it, it, there's true camaraderie there. Yeah. There's true brotherhood there uh, about you all caring about, loving your teammates, kind of loving the program. Man, that makes all the world. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you know, kind of being a part of this program, you know, a couple years ago the program was struggling. Yeah. Uh, and kind of what does it mean now to kind of be on the field and be really successful? I mean, to start freshman year with only – two wins to be here where we are right now is everything i mean me and jabe have been here since freshman year and we were not too good freshman year <laughs> we've came along we came a very long oh, way oh yeah so. so before we get to uh bringing jabe in here we got to hear what's a good story about coach moss uh, oh, they, be, they've got they've got a girl oh, <laughs> man i'm not glad you remember that coach. i gotta have a good story about coach moss before we uh we cut you loose so last year when we were uh playing Lincoln uh, we went to PKs and whenever we were doing our PKs Moss had his shirt lifted up <laughs> and Brandon McGlone <laughs> took a picture and put it on his Facebook it was, it was very funny it was, well, we've always got to have something right that we can that we can hold with us man thank you so oh, much man. Jefferson Impressive best of luck, man. Best of luck to man. you Good luck. And, uh, and the rest of the season is Jay Moore moves in here we've been here Jay you won't need that telephone it's just, <laughs> just it, it's no big deal Jay Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you, man. Thanks we've had for me. we've had Jefferson and Coach Moss in here with us. Tell us some people that may not know you a little bit who you are. You know what what you are, kind of that kind of thing, and then why you love soccer so much. I'm Jay Moore. I'm a senior at Garrett County. I've been playing since freshman year. Uh, I've been here since kindergarten, so I'm Garrett County through and through. I love it. And uh, I picked up soccer just because you know I could hang out with my friends all oh, the time. Oh yeah, all right. And I made connections with all these guys who I've been with since freshman year. It's been amazing. So that's really been the main point. So what position we play, Jay? Uh, I play right wing back. Moss. I usually play defense, the main, uh, like the center back in the middle. But Moss decided to move me to center, uh, right wing back this year. So. So have you enjoyed that? You enjoyed the new it. position? I love it so much. I can actually, you know, assist and score this year. So. <laughs> I get some touches on the ball. So oh, it's yeah. kind of a different mentality, right? When yes, you're sir, when yes, you're sir. playing on the end on the defensive end as opposed to the offensive Absolutely. end. Absolutely. And so you get you get that kind of stuff. So what, what's it like having the camaraderie with that group? Because you guys obviously you're very good, you're very skilled, but you guys really like each other. Absolutely. We've been through the worst points ever. Like yeah. we haven't won a game our freshman year, and now we're wanting to go to regions. So I mean, we've been through thick and thin. I think it's made us best friends with everybody on the team and we love each other yeah, and, and Jay that really stood out I, I shared with Jefferson you know when we kind of came in and, and uh, you know recorded the interview it really stood out that you all really have a brotherhood Absolutely. Uh, and man that's what high school athletics is all about uh, you know and I'm so proud to be a part of the school system to kind of have a class act like Jackson Moss leading the program and man kind of have an unbelievable great young men uh, like you and Jefferson and, and everybody all the kids that are on this soccer program uh, not only excelling on the field excelling in the classroom and representing your families and community Man, Absolutely. so kudos to you guys. Thank you. Thank hey, before we get before we go, I want to tell a funny story on Coach Moss. Before, oh, I love funny stories that, on Coach Moss. Before we do that, what's what's in the future for Gabe? What are you going to do after you graduate Gary um, County High School? If soccer is open, uh, I'd love to do that. But uh, my dream is to be a sports journalist. Oh, which great! Be right we need blogs, to get like, him up yeah, here. Like Fantastic. Let's go. Hey, Absolutely. if we can do it, Jay, anybody can. <laughs> yeah, you know? because uh, I, if, trust me, if I can do it, <laughs> anybody can do it. So get, I got to hear a funny story. Give us a funny story on Coach Moss. Let's hear it. Well, I got one that's been going on through the past two years. So oh. He gives, so he gives us speeches all the time to get us hyped up and everything. And there's always – Moss is always trying to – Shed a tear through, <laughs> and he's always trying to hide it. You know, I just, I just love you boys, but I mean, it's just because he loves us, but it's funny in some way too. So that's really what I get. I love it. Fantastic. Me every like day, so. Fantastic. Well, man, thank you so thank much, you. my man. We're going to get you up here and work man. with us sometime. I agree. We need to do and folks, that, folks. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break as we come back. It'll be starting the second half here at Garrett County as Garrett County trails East Chessman 15-14 here on your Urban Group scoreboard. This is Garrett County Golden Line football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network. 
Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for a community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. And welcome back, folks, as Zach Daly is set to put the football in motion as he squibs one down the left side that is going to be fielded cleanly by East Oh, Chester. my goodness. As that is number 22, Samuel, excuse me, that's the wrong team, Brady Shout. Hey, Trey Scott coming down there with a big hit for Garrett County. Yeah, <laughs> Trace <laughs> Allen Scott in there as uh, he's not he's not worried about uh, he likes sticking contact, his head in there. He? Absolutely. That was a great halftime show by our folks with uh, soccer. We've tried oh, to get them goodness. on three separate times. Not been Five. Do Third it. time was uh, a charm, for sure. <laughs> Trust they me, we want to get we want to get the band and the whole process in there. But Dr. Vance doesn't really want to show all of his <laughs> all of the time. We we showed a few yeah. of his songs earlier, but we're going to get the band. We got some special things. We're going to uh, make sure that we support them as well. As it's going to be shotgun formation. As Norton is going to hand it off just off the right side. As that is number eleven, Music. Music is uh, had twenty five carries for sixty five yards on the season, twenty one point seven uh, per game. As tonight he's ran the football very effectively as it's going to be second and six. You know, yeah, but kind of, kind of nice little play there for East Jessamine, kind of coming out uh, first play of the second half there, picking up a big uh, uh, four downs. You know, East Jessamine's got some pretty big boys up front. Uh, so, you know, look for Garrett County to kind of get back to being active, kind of getting in that backfield and being disruptive. Gordon awaiting the snap. As this time he's going to hand it off to Music off the left side as he's going to be he's short of the game. first down marker by a couple, maybe three. Bring up third and one Six or two, line, maybe, maybe three. Just hard to pin. Uh, looks like it's going to be third and two for the Jaguars. Go, go lines from the Crow's Hat Pub on the square in Lakeshore. Now open Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays at 4 o'clock. Come watch all your favorite teams. 
Third and two for the uh, East Jasmine Jaguars, leading on your Urban Group scoreboard, 15-14. What do you think was talked about at the uh, – what do you think I, was talked about I mean, there I at halftime? I think the same thing as the hunting insurance keys to the game. Got to clean the game up for Garrett County. You know, Garrett County with three turnovers during the first half is really the difference in the game right here, Scott. This time it's going to be handoff. It's going to be oh! stuck in the backfield. It's going to be stopped as that's Trent Knightson and Hayden Illiman. Wow, big time tackle. defensive play there by Garrett County. Now, East Chessman kind of wondering, you know, I mean, you know, this is right at the 50 yard line. Uh, so, kind of be interesting to see what East Chessman does. Wouldn't surprise me at all if East Chessman at least lines up and see if uh, they can get Garrett County to jump off sides. East Jessman's going to have it fourth and two from their own 46-yard line. Hey, now, not to try to continue the conversation, but my man Jake Sims did say he's enjoying the broadcast and he's eating pizza without pineapples. <laughs> my man, I knew I liked you, Sims, <laughs> for some reason. Let's other than go, hitting all those home runs against us. Shotgun formation trying to uh, yeah, draw Gary County off sides. No luck as they're going to take a delay a game yeah. here. Gary County with good eye discipline. Good, good eye discipline and being very fundamental and structured <laughs> as that will be a five-yard penalty. Well, they'll mark it back as Cam Peak will go back to receive the pat or receive the punt. That will be Isaac Johnson. Our girl, Lois Ray, checking in. Oh, let's so, go, man, Lois. I got had a conversation with Lois this week, and it was great just to talk to her and catch up. I love Lois. Takes me all the way back from my, my days of playing t-ball uh, years ago for Kitty College. As that's a years and years ago as Peak is going to field this uh, punt. As he's going to take it off the right side. He's got uh -oh. to go back to the uh -oh, left. He's folks. got lots of room. Get you he's in, Cam Peak. That's a 50. The Get 40. you in, he's got Cam one Peak. He's out running. He Whoa. finally is tackled at the East Jessman 20. Oh, my goodness. Yard line. Man, whatever that young man ate for breakfast and lunch, he needs to eat it every Friday. 64 goodness, Cam Peak. 64 yard punt return. We do have an injury on the field for East Jessman. As we have somebody down for East Jessman, and with that, we will go ahead and uh, we'll take a quick break as well. As we'll be right back, it's time out. It's time to call DocuBid, and we'll be right back. This is Gary County Golden Lion Football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Visit DocuBit.com for more information. And welcome back, folks. Is Hayden Illman in the Wildcat formation. He's going to take it off the right side as he's going to gain five, possibly six. We'll say five. It'll be second and five for the Golden Lions. You know, good job by Elijah Coffey there. Tristan Murphy on the right side of the offensive line. Good job by Malachi Simmons getting up there, kind of being the lead uh, block uh, for Hayden Elliman. Great job by Hayden Elliman picking up uh, almost six yards there on the first down for Garrett County. Nine minutes and 13 seconds to go here in the third <laughs> quarter. Garrett County Trails, your Urban Group scoreboard, 15 14. Element again in Wildcat. Malachi Simmons just off to his left. Waiting the snap as he's going to keep it this time and go off the left side. He's going to dodge one and will no fall deal. forward. Okay. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third down and five. Go, go lines from Big Deals online store. Save 20 to 50% off on gift certificates to local businesses at hometownlive.net. Element staying at quarterback this time as he's getting the, uh, getting the read from head coach Spencer Crutchfield. As Elman takes it to the huddle. You know, definitely two down territory. And I'll tell you what, you don't get to get, you know, Gear Caddy needs to get just a little bit farther down, and, man, it's in oh, field goal yeah. range uh, no for Zach Daly. No doubt. Zay Daly has a fantastic leg. 
As this time it's going to be Hayden Elliman. He's going to keep it. Uh oh, right oh. touchdown! He's in! Touchdown! <laughs> Gary <laughs> County. No flags on the play. Gary County just scored. You can score a job now at Nesco Resource and Danville, Harrisburg, and Stanford. Call 859 238 0058. Gary County's going to go for two here, Scott. Actually, no, they've got Daly out there. No, nope, yeah, they've yeah. been bringing Daly yeah. out. So now they are going to go for two. Yeah, but I mean, so it's one of those things, you know, the, the two-point conversion uh, 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 puts you up 22-15, uh, which is, you know. Uh, they don't know the 22-yard touchdown run for the Golden Line. Kind of puts you still, uh, you know, up seven points here. Hayden Elliman goes in untouched from 22 yards out on the Wildcat as he's going to stay in at quarterback. The Wildcat formation, Malachi Simmons just off to his right. So Jagger Wood is going to be out to the right. He's going to be patient this time. He's going to have the blitz that's coming at him, and he is not. No, he's not in. He's not going to get in. And so with that, Gary County is leading on the Urban Group scoreboard, 20 to 15. Eight minutes exactly to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break. This is Gary County Golden Lion football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network from the Countryside BP Studio. At Farmers National Bank, we understand the unique needs of our community, whether personal banking, business banking, or agriculture. We're here with you every step of the way, enhancing lives and empowering communities. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Danville Office Equipment is proud to be the area's premier partner in providing office solutions and supplies. From businesses, schools, to home offices, we take pride in helping our neighbors be more productive. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We offer prescription management, preventative vaccinations, even local delivery. Just a few of the ways we work to keep our hometown healthy. Caring for our community, one patient at a time. That's Sutton Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Micah Wade. I'm a lender at First Southern National Bank in Lancaster. I'm excited to serve the Garrett County community. Good luck to all of our athletes this season. Go Lions. And we are back as Zach Daly squibs it down to the left side. It's going to be fielded and ran out of bounds by Jackson, excuse me, by the uh, Jaguars. And Gary, the Jaguars will have it first and 10 from the 40-yard line. Yeah, I tell you what, Scott, I, I really think these next four or five minutes uh, is going to be really big uh, uh, for the rest of this game here. Gary Kane's got a lot of momentum. Love to see Gary Kane to get a three and out or maybe coach a turnover, get the ball back, put it back in the end zone. And At put Farmers a lot National of pressure Bank, on these we chest. understand the – Better man Trey Scott being active on kickoff oh, man. team. Uh, yeah, I tell you tonight. what, he has got a nose He's a for missile. the football without a doubt. From the 36-yard line is East Jessman as Morton is going to keep it this time. Rolling out to the right side. Oh! Hayden Elliman is going to what drag a play. him down <laughs> to the ground with a loss of about three. That's the ultimate warrior, baby. You, you kidding what? me? What a great job oh defensively of being fundamental. Being disciplined, right? And being disciplined and uh, blowing the, that play up. So what I told you earlier de definitely didn't uh, involve itself there. So East Chessman actually pulling both guards the opposite direction, trying to get Gary County to kind of fall for that eye candy. Uh, Hayden Edmund doing a great job being disciplined, staying at home. And I tell you what I liked about that, Scott. He kept his shoulder square, and when he got close to the ball here, he stuck his nose in he his did. shoulder pads and took him to the ground. No doubt. That That's kid, a physical football player. The kid player. had no chance of getting out of that as Don Parker Morton will be in shotgun formation for the Jaguars. As he's going to put Johnson in motion, he's going to sit out and throw one out to the flat to number two, McDonald. As McDonald will make a nice shifty move to catch it and gain about four, possibly five. Nice job by J.T. Parsons. Doing a really nice job of hustling out there, kind of making a tackle uh, for Garrett County, setting up a, a third down and seven here uh, for East Chessman. Big play here for the Gary County defensive uh, front and defensive unit as it's seven minutes and nine seconds to go here in the third quarter. Hey, our, our, our Miss Mary Adrian Davis has checked oh, in yeah. saying, let's go Lions. Let's go Love GC. Miss Davis. Absolutely. Michelle Hoskins says, let's oh, go GC. Michelle Congratulations Hoskins. to our 2023 homecoming queen, Chloe Middleton. Oh, man. 
as we're excited. Great student. We're excited that uh, she has the chance to uh, represent us as our homecoming queen this coming year. Morton is going to roll out to the right side as he's going to throw one out to the flat. It's going to be caught. What a great pass. It is a great pass because Hayden Edelman was out here in the flats. So uh, is Cam Peek. And I mean, I mean, I mean, he put the ball right between Cam Peek and Hayden Edelman. It's one of those things. I mean, you know, a, a good job by the Gary County defense. Just a better play uh, by East Chessman's quarterback uh, completing that pass, picking up a big first down for East Chessman. First and ten. East From, Chessman in the Gary County territory. Yeah, got, got, got the ball in the Gary County 48-yard line. Over group scoreboard has six minutes and 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. Your Gary County goal line's 20, East Chessman 15. Tyler Collier says, let's go, GC. Way to fly to the football. Daniel Ray says, come on, GC. Let's go. As it is time to make a big play, as there's going to be a holding. Nice job yeah. of Jagger Wood out there. Yeah, uh, no uh, doubt. Being a good job, kind of staying at home, uh, uh, being disruptive there. It's going to be holding penalty on East Chessman. That will take the Jaguars back 10 yards, where they will be firmly behind the chains, without a doubt. As that is going to have the Jaguars at first and 20, now back from the East Jessman 42-yard line. You know, we've not seen this a lot uh, tonight from uh, East Jessman, really kind of getting behind the chains here on first and 20. Uh, I'd really like to see if Gary County's defense can kind of put East Jessman's offense in an uncomfortable situation, maybe try to get East Jessman to, to kind of get outside of their game and maybe seeing if Gary County's defense can capitalize on that and pick up, a, you know, kind of get a big turnover here. First and 20, East Jessman from their own 42-yard line. Dante Parker Morton. That looks like that is Peyton Music directly behind. As he's going to fake it to Music, he's going to hand it off and run the option out the right side to Reed as he's got a lot of room. He's going to be ran out of bounds by John Connor Moore as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage after a gain of 10, a yeah, East, second and 10. East Jessman kind of running that speed option right there. And, and I tell you, uh, you know, number one for East Jessman, uh, you know, I'll tell you, uh, yeah, yeah, I tell you, Parker Morton, a pretty talented running quarterback there. Uh, John Connor Moore doing a really nice job for Gary County, kind of filling the lane. Uh, you know, and East Jessman picks up eight yards, but it could have been more there. So uh, second down to 12 now here for East Jessman. I like that quarterback a lot as he is a senior for the East Jessman Jaguars. Second and 12, as Morton this time is going to uh, fake the end off to the inside. As that is going to be, there's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be holding on these gentlemen again. As Derek Morton I'll be honest with you, around. the more they run the Hayden Elliman side, the better I feel if you're Garrett County. Because uh, just about the only way to make sure Hayden Elliman don't make the tackle there on the perimeter is to hold him, which right. is exactly what these gentlemen just did. I like that. That's going to back them up where it was going to be. It's going to be second down. It's going to be second down to 22. Second down and 22. Putting them firmly again behind the chains. 548 to go here in the third quarter. Garrett County trails on your, or excuse me, leads on your Urban Group scoreboard 20 to 15. Not a normal football score, Coach. <laughs> no, it really isn't. But, hey, we're, we'll, we'll take it, right, Scott? 100% as long as we're on the positive yeah, Let's end. go. Second and 22. Morton awaiting the snap, looking over the Garrett County defense. Low snap as he's going to roll out to the right side, looking to throw. As he's going to throw one out at the flat. That may be picked oh, off. Oh, my goodness. Great it's play. It's going to be incomplete. I thought John, John Connor, Connor Moore. Moore. He's everywhere, folks. He made nice a job. great a great play. John Connor made a great break on diving, the football. Diving attempt at that interception actually, there. I actually thought he may have came up with that football. What a great play by John Connor. Now it's going to be third down and 22 from the East Jessman 40. Go, go lines from the new Casa Amigos restaurant in the old Leo's Pizza. Offering free delivery citywide. Come by and enjoy your Mexican favorites. Amigo. Amigo. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the night. <laughs> Love it, man. Hey, I, I, I'm, I get to broadcast this game 20. with a couple amigos. Amigos. amigo. Big play here, folks. Me amigo. As this time it's going to be the fake the end around as Morton is going to turn and throw one deep as he is going to have a open number seven, Sean Reed, but he overthrows. 
Has good coverage there by Gary County as they had three guys uh, out there. A but uh, Big time stop for the Gary County defense. Stop, this, that's exactly what we were talking about, Scott. Gary County now getting the football back. Five minutes and 14 seconds left here in the third quarter. Oven Group scoreboard has uh, your Gary County goal lines 20, East Chessman 15. Love to see Gary County uh, take advantage of this, drop, put the ball back in the end zone, and really put a lot of pressure on East Chessman. Again, friends, if you have not went to our Facebook page and liked Main Street Media TV, please do so. Like, and follow. Send, follow, send it to all your friends as Johnson is going to get a little wobbly this time oh, as that is not his normal kick, but it's going to take an East Jessen bounce. And East Jessen will kill it there at about the 27-yard line. Well, Gary County will have it first and 10, leading 20-15 on your Urban Groove scoreboard. 5:03 to go here in the third quarter. Coach. Really, really sets up for an exciting uh, last quarter and a half of football here, folks. So, uh, uh, I tell you what, buckle up. Let's see what these gold lines can kind of pull out of here. Uh, love to see Gary County take advantage uh, of being up with the football, seeing if Gary County can put together a nice drive here and put a lot of pressure on East Chessman. Parsons back at quarterback for the gold lines as he brings in the play from head coach Spencer Crutchfield. He will have Malachi Johnson just off to his right as he's going to have Hayden Element and Cam Peak split to his right. As he's going to hand off to Malachi off the left side. Maybe a gain of one. Not much there. As that will bring up second and nine. You know, so, you know, Gary County, again, we've we've seen thunder and lightning back tonight, folks. That's right. Uh, so, you know, Malachi Simmons running the ball in between the tackles. Uh, love to see uh, Cam Peak get an opportunity uh, to kind of shine here. Man, Cam has really made some big-time big plays game. here uh, for He's Gary County here tonight. Had a really big game in both the, uh, the offensive side uh, with the touchdown catch and a punt return. Uh, earlier is to to really really spark that last drive for the Gary County Golden Lions as Parsons this time is going to turn and throw one out to Daughtery. What a great block that time by Cam Peak as Daughtery turns upfield and slips. He had some room. He had some green yeah, in like, front of him. I really like the play call. I, I tell you, I think the play was there. Uh, unfortunately, Nathaniel just kind of turned the ball up or kind of turned up the field and kind of lost his foot in here. Third down uh, and eight for Garrett County on their own 28-yard line here in the third quarter. Four minutes to go uh, in the third quarter. Garrett County 20, East Jessamine 15 on your Irving Group scoreboard. JT Parsons' little brother Justin is bringing the play in as he's. Uh, and, and if you want to win football game, Scott, you got to win third down. Absolutely. So big time play coming up here for Gary County. Third and eight. Parsons looking over the East Chessman defense. He's going to move Malachi from his left to his right as Parsons is going to drop back to throw. It's going to be knocked down at the line of scrimmage by big number 54 for East Chessman, Matthew Hager. We'll bring you know, get, up fourth down for the Golden Lions. And I tell you, give East Chessman a lot of credit there. I mean, you know, big time possession for Gary County coming up. East Chessman defense, uh, uh, the former alumni, JT Light. Former alumni. Uh, uh, you know, kind of lead, leading that defense come up with a big three and out for, uh, for East Chessman. Jaggerwood back in punt formation for the Golden Lions. As back to receive this kick is Isaac Johnson. He's also the punter and kicker for East Chessman. Wow. What about that? Kick can do it all. He does it all. As awaiting the snap. Good snap. Nice punt by Jagger Wood. Really nice punt. As JT Parsons, the first one down the field. As they are going to do a really good job as Nathaniel Daughter. Way to pursue the him, football. Keeps him from getting to the boundary. And Gary County will have East Chessman in their own territory. East Chessman will have it first and 10 from their own 42-yard line. You know, good field position for East Chessman here. Uh, let, let's see how Gary County's defense responds uh, to this. Uh, last possession, Gary County gave up only one first down, forced the punt. See what Gary County can do here on this possession. Gary County has uh, really done a nice job defensively. As Brett Dow oh, checks in. Oh, my man, Brett Dow. Nation. Let's, Let's go. finish this, guys. Let's I'm go. with you. Let's, Boy, I loved watching Brett Dowd on the football field. Let's get a field. big win tonight as it's first and 10 for the Jaguars. As senior Morton is going to take the handoff and hand oh. it off this time to Music as he gets hit in the backfield, and they can't wrap him up, and he gets all the way out to the first down marker inside Garrett County territory where I think he has a first down. Yeah, I think Garrett County drew up a great defense there, Scott. Hit him in the backfield, unfortunately was not able to kind of make the tackle there. And, you know, give kudos to that young man from East Chessman, kind of keeping his legs moving, 
uh, in picking up a big 11 or 12 yards there for East Chestnut. Moves the ball on the Garrett County 47-yard line. First and 10, East Chessman, three minutes exactly to go here in the third quarter. Garrett County continues to lead 20 to 15. As Morton is going to have Reed split out to the right as he's going to have fake the handoff to music this time as he's going to dance out to the right side. Nice job by J.T. Parsons turning back in. Yeah, kind of limiting, any, you know, only limited maybe two or three yard gain there for East Chessman. Looks like it's going to be second and eight. Uh, East Chessman uh, with the football on the Garrett County 45 yard line. Nice job defensively on that play by Coach Hester's unit as they are really, really having to dig deep tonight as we want to get this win. Let's go. Lois Ray says she finally heard a cowbell here. Oh, she said it sounds the great. cowbells. Lois always was famous for having cowbells during her time as her sons were playing as she was following the Gary County football team as Morton is going to keep it this time after a fake handoff as daughter is going to drive him into the ground after the gain of about five. Yeah. We'll bring up third down and three or four yeah. for the Jaguars. I think, I think a, a long three yards there for East Jessamine, the ball on the Gary County 41-yard line. Uh, be interesting to kind of see what the Gary County defense kind of uh, draws up here. Definitely think it's two down uh, territory uh, for East Jessamine. Love to see that ball. And we've seen a few snaps uh, kind of snap funny tonight for East Chessman. Really be opportune time uh, for Gary County if, if that can happen again here. Third down and five for the Jaguars. Morton awaiting the snap this time as he's going to hand it off to Music up the right side as he's going to be short of the first down as he gains about two. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down and two. And uh, a long two, yeah. maybe three. Yeah, ball's going to be on the Garrett County, looks like 39-yard line. Uh, they have to get to about the 35, or about the 36-yard line. Yeah, big time play coming up here for the Gear Kane defense, folks. You got a minute and two seconds left here in the third quarter. Uh, East Chessman 15, your Gear County Golden Lions 20. Big time play coming up. Uh, it looks like East Chessman is not 100% sure what they're uh, wanting to uh, wanting to run here. Need to be very disciplined defensively here. Don't jump off sides. Don't jump off sides. Big fourth down play here as the Jaguars in a power formation to the right side. As Morton is going to take it and run as he, I can't see him. I think he got the first down. As he jumped to the right side, I could not see him. My assumption is he got the I first down. I think he down. got it, but boy, I tell you, it's, it's close. It's, it's pretty, it's a lot closer. I'm just uh, going than on the reaction like. of uh, some of the some of the fans at East Jessman. Oh, they're going to call for a measurement. Call for a measurement. I tell you, uh, I think it comes back to is it a left foot spot or a right foot spot? Man. It looked like he might have got the first down, but Scott, from here, I'm not so sure. I can't tell. I, and, you know, like I said, I was going on the reaction of the fans from East Jessman, and they acted like they had it. I think but, he's going to be a little uh, short. What do you think, Jeff? Well, actually, they've got somebody they got somebody down as well. Free strategy is Morton uh, that he is down there. I, I thought he – it's kind of hard, Terrell. Oh, yeah. I thought he got it just from the momentum and the way they kept moving oh, yeah. the pile forward. But, you know, the spot looked a little shorter I agree. than that. So. I agree. What do you think here, Scott? We deserve oh, a break. It's always short. Yeah, oh, that's it's short. Always Go ahead and get the short. Gary County offense on it's the field. What do you Gary think? Gary County ball. Come on, baby. Come on, be short. It is short. Oh, yeah. What a spot. What a spot, folks. That was a left foot spot. We like the left I think foot it was. spot. Let's go. Let's go. That is huge for Man. the Gary County Gary, I, I, momentum. Folks, Gary, I mean, Gary County deserves a break. Yes, My sir. goodness, Absolutely. Gary deserves a break. Now, let's take advantage of this, and let's get the ball in the end zone, and let's get this thing started here for Gary County. Man, Steve Horn checking in let's tonight. Go, says, let's go, Steve. Let's go, GC. Way to go, Gary County defense. As uh, Ronald Wardrop, our former sheriff, oh, says, come on, GC, let's, let's go. get a win, baby. As it is going to be Gary County football, 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Gary County continues to lead. East Jessman on your Urban Group scoreboard by a score of 20 <laughs> to 15. Hey, big time drive coming up here. East Jessman's a little disappointed they didn't get the first down here. Tell you what, it just feels like if Gary County can put together a good drive, put the ball in the end zone, really, really put a lot of pressure and make it difficult on East Jessman. Parsons in shotgun formation, one on one here, close with uh, Hayden Element. There you go. As that is going to be offsides. 
Yeah, be five, yeah five free yards are off uh, for the Garrett County. Be first and five now. Garrett County's got the ball on their own 47-yard uh, line driving, first down and five uh, with 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Garrett County 20, East Chessman 15. I like the look of it when we get uh, Hayden Elman one-on-one -on -one oh, out here to, uh, to the big side of the field as Parsons is going to bring the play in. 30 seconds to go here. Third quarter. Both teams have all three timeouts left. Parsons awaiting the snap, looking over an aggressive defense here by Meese Chessman as they bring the house, and there's nothing there as they are going to drive Malachi Simmons back after Man. he gains about two. Yeah, that defense was swarming right there. It's never a good thing to uh, – see the offensive linemen all kind of looking back and seeing the, basically the whole entire defensive line tackling the running back. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter, folks. As Garrett County's going to go into the fourth quarter with a five-point lead on your Urban Groove scoreboard as they lead the East Jessman Jaguars on a score of 20 to 15. This is Garrett County Golden Lion football here on the Golden Lion Sports Network and the Countryside BP Studios. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. And welcome back, folks, as we're entering the fourth quarter with the lead tonight on your Urban Group School Board, 20 to 15, as Gary County is going to have it second and seven. Hayden Elliman in shotgun formation. Excuse that's me, that's Cam, Cam Peak. Peak. As Cam Peak is going to get it out to the left side, as he's going to be dropped in wildcat formation. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Brings up third and seven for the Lions. Yeah, big third down play here. You know, we talked about this on the last offensive drive uh, for Garrett County. Uh, a lot of times the, the games are one loss on third down. If you want to win the game, you got to win third down. Big time play coming up uh, for Garrett County. Third and seven from their own 40-yard line. Parsons back into the game as the quarterback. As big play here, Coach. Like you said, you need to at least get to the 48-yard line. As Parsons is going to drop back to throw this time as he's going to by number eight, James Burbage. And that'll bring up fourth down for the goal lines. Yep. As You know, you said that a while ago. You know, anytime Hayden Edelman is one on one, uh, really like to, uh, kind of seeing, kind of getting the ball, kind of going to Hayden, kind of seeing if he can make a play. You know, I like the, uh, you're exactly right. And sometimes I like to see him run that just like shallow slant. Uh, just try to get it to him quick, just get inside that defensive uh, corner. But uh, Gary County are ready to punt the football away as Jaggerwood is back. Does an outstanding job for the Golden Lions from that punting position. JT Parsons with a really good snap and nice punt as it is going to be short of the East Jessman offensive player in Johnson is going to take a Garrett County bounce and JT Parsons will kill it down there where East Jessman will have it first and 10 from their own 26 yard line coach and this is a uh, like we said we keep saying it it's fourth quarter it's obviously huge but this is a big drive. Yeah, you know, no doubt about it. You know, the first half, it, it was an offensive game. Uh, and, man, this has turned into a defensive struggle uh, here in the second half here. So uh, it's just kind of like one of those – it just feels like a turnover uh, is, is going to happen, and, and whatever team can take advantage of that is going to come out with a win tonight. 11 minutes and two seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. 
East Chessman on offense as Morton awaits a snap. As he's going to fake the handoff and look to pass it down into the left side. He's going to overthrow his receivers. Uh, I'll tell you, he throws a good hey, ball. A, he, th he throws a nice looking ball. Nice job of Jacker Wood and John Connor Moore being out there, uh, not really giving the receiver a lot of space here. But I agree. I tell you what, I, I've been really impressed. I really like him. They uh, only throw for 70 yards per game, yeah. but uh, I feel like he throws a really good ball. Good athlete. Good athlete. Good tight spiral. You have to be a, you have to be cognizant of where he is when he breaks the pocket, but he can also uh, have his eyes up the field and to be able to throw one down and, and make you pay. Second and 10, East Jessman. Gordon this time is going to have the inside handoff to Reed as he makes a nice move. He's going to get out to the outside. He's going to get a first down as John Connor Moore takes him down after a first down as he gets out to about the 38 or 9-yard line of yep. East Jessman will be first and 10. You know, nice job of East Jessman kind of blocking them on the Garrett County uh, defensive right side. Uh, uh, really, uh, I'm sorry, on their own 39-yard line. Coach Hester is, uh, is pleading to his guys out there and giving them uh, some direction as it's going to be first and 10, East Chessman. Morton this time is going to hand it off again. Same play to Reed. He's going to fall down as he gets knocked down that time defensively by Nathaniel Daugherty. Yeah, nice job by Nathaniel Daugherty getting out there making a big stop uh, for Garrett County. Going to be second and 10. Uh, East Chessman not gaining anything on that first down play. Just stay, just stay home. Stay fundamental. Take care of your area is what it's going to take for Gary County tonight. And uh, well, you, you like to think, you know, if, if you're East Chessman, probably going to go back to Morton here. Uh, and, and they've had a somewhat some success uh, with that speed option, uh, you know, with Morton kind of carrying or, or kind of keeping the football. Second and 10, 9.49 to go here in this contest. As Morton this time is going to fake the handoff. It's going to have to run that speed option that you were talking about. Defensively, yeah. he's going to be oh, thrown oh, down. Oh. J.T. Parsons. No, he, can, he, he called him he down. He's going to be down. Yeah. As that will bring up third down. Yeah. And probably, I can't really tell where they're going to spot this, but third down and around 15. Yeah, he's going to spot it on the 33-yard line. Uh, and I tell you one of the things that happens here, Scott, this could turn into a delay of game. Uh, I mean, the clock is, you know, you, you've got 40 seconds after the play call. Uh, so, and that clock runs. So, right. Morton, I feel like Morton don't think he was down, and he kept running. He ran all the way to the end zone. But that 40-second clock stopped or started right after that, that play was blown dead. You'd like to think they've only got 10 or 15 seconds left on the play clock here. I uh, just now saw him look at his clock, so it, his, uh, his Apple Watch. So, I'm not sure where we're at right now. 8.50 to go. Clock is continuing to run. Waiting for the back judge to raise his hand. I don't understand. To raise his hand. As waiting to see. There, there we go. Goes. Yeah, it's going to be a delay goes. game if East Chessman doesn't call, doesn't call a timeout here. As this is going to be. Uh, like they're going to call said, a timeout. They're going to call the timeout. And we'll take one, two. The Urban Group scoreboard with 8.32 to go in the fourth quarter. Garrett County leads East Chessman 20 to 15. Garrett County go to line football here on the Go to Line Sports Network and the Countryside BP Studio. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Buy local, eat well at Mark's Berry Farm. From our restaurant, butcher shop, to our wholesale meat sales, our passion for healthy food and environmental stewardship shows in everything we do. Come taste for yourself or shop online. See our story at MarksBerryFarm.com. Get to know your Garrett County Health Department. We are so much more than just clinical services. From health education, referrals, environmental health testing, emergency preparedness, and our HANDS program helps parents nurture healthy children, ensuring a healthy community. Learn more at GarrettHealth.org. We are your friends and neighbors. We live, work, and play here. We offer modern banking. With personal service, you've come to know. We are Whitaker Bank. We are GC. And welcome back, folks. Third and 16 for the Jaguars from their own 33-yard line with 8.32 to go here in this contest. Garrett County leads East Chessman by the score of 20 to 15. 
Morton awaiting the snap. He's looking left, looking over the defense. As he's going to get lots of pressure. <laughs> he's going to be thrown down. Yes. I tell you what happens, Scott. Yes, Malachi sir. Simmons. Malachi Simmons blitzes, makes the quarterback step up, and the quarterback step up. Uh, you know, Rio Ortiz did a really nice job of cleaning him up, getting him to the ground for a big stop for Garrett County. Fantastic hey, let's job. Let's get the ball and let's put the ball in the end zone. Let's, camp let's go back to receive this punt. For Garrett County, as Isaac Johnson had a lot of work tonight. He's got yes. a really good leg, really punting leg. and kicking. As he is awaiting it, the snap, it's fourth and 24. So man, Garrett County defense flat out getting it done. Never know when you kick it to Cam Peak. He could always a threat to take it to the house. That's really nice. Wow, kick. what wow, a, punt. a punt! Oh my as word! That is going to go down deep into Garrett County territory. Well, they were down the football at the 15. What a great, oh, what a great goodness. punt! As he punted that from about the 10. That's a 60-yard punt, folks. So, man, really, you'd love to be able to field that punt and not let that thing roll. Really nice but man, job. what he, a punt for East Chester! Yeah, Cam really couldn't. He kicked it over his yeah. head. Uh, what a kick that time! I haven't seen too many high school punters be able to uh, wow, to kick oh, it that far. Absolutely not. Really. really nice. Nice, for great, really nice get job. Going here. In a hole here. We got to move the football. Need some time. Need some first downs. As Hayden Elliman will be the quarterback of choice right now. Well, and, and this goes against what we talked about. You know, East Chessman uh, really stacking the box, blitzing. So I think Gary County's going to go to run a game. Either you know, it, it's easy to pop a big play here for Gary County. Elliman awaiting the snap. As he's going to fake the handoff to Malachi Simmons. He's going to get out to the right side as he makes one person miss. As not much there. He, he gets out to the boundary, but he's going to be knocked down after the gain of maybe one. It'll bring up second and nine for the Golden Lions. Yeah, you know, there's no rule in football, Scott, that says when you start a drive uh, on your own 15-yard line like Garrett County has, your really goal is to at least get two first downs. Uh, so if you get two first downs, you at least have the opportunity to kind of flip the field position back here. So it's going to be critical for Garrett County to have some success on offense, not punt the ball back to East Jessman, uh, you know, on on, 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 their, on Garrett County's 40 or 50 yard on, on the midfield line uh, with, uh, you know, a few minutes left in this game. Cam Peak bringing the play in for the Golden Lions. You're probably going to call a timeout here if you're Gary County. As yeah, that, timeout, He's going to be a timeout. As that'll be a timeout for Gary well, County. They're the first of the night. As we'll take a timeout too as Gary County Golden Lions are leading 20 to 15 here on the Urban Group scoreboard. This is Golden Lion football on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen is Danville's deal maker. Save more on Bob Allen's winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Shop on lot or online at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Bob Allen is a proud supporter of Golden Lions football. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands. Family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Every fan knows the home team's responsibility is to protect the house. Protect the house. And while you're at it, car and business, family and life. See what our home team can do for you. Hunt Insurance Agency. Two locations, Lancaster and Lexington. Are piles of paper cluttering your office? Old hard drives holding sensitive data? Let DocuBit come to the rescue. We're the trusted local experts in paper and hard drive destruction. Second and 10, Gary County as Cam Peak gets the pitch out to the left side. Has not much cooking on that left side. Good job defensively by the Jaguars. It's going to bring up third down and 10. Yeah, not, you know, not a lot of movement there uh, you know, for the Gary County offensive line. Not a lot of opportunity for Cam to kind of get that uh, play uh, broken there. Picks up, uh, you know, uh, sets up a big third down and 12. Uh, Gary County football on their own 13-yard line. Six minutes left here uh, in the fourth quarter. Gary County 20, East Chessman 50. Team. Got to win third down, Scott. Got to win third down, Coach. As you said, that's actually a loss of two, so it'll be third down and 12 for the goal line. So you're going to have one-on-one -on -one coverage out here to the short side of the field with Hayden Element. As Parsons this time is going to turn and flip it out to Cam Peek because he's going to throw one to Hayden Element. It's going to be caught after a gain of about, uh, about we'll give him seven, seven yards, six yeah. or seven. Sets up fourth and five for Garrett County. As, man, you're not kidding. East Chessman brings the house all the time. I mean, it seems like they are continuing to, uh, to put pressure on the Golden Lions every play. 
Jagger Wood in punt formation. Jagger Wood in punt formation. Really need a nice punt here uh, for Garrett County. Right now, East Chessman doesn't have anybody back uh, to receive this punt here. Uh, I think they're looking to see if Garrett County is going to try to fake a punt. But nobody back. Boy, I'd like to, for Jagger to get a hold of one and really mm -hmm. let that ball bounce. Probably not the position. I don't understand were... that. No. Oh. Thought it was what a, an athletic play. What a great play by Jagger Wood. Bounce Just in the get... right direction. Of course right. they don't. That's all right. Gets out of bounds. Is a Jack, the East Chester Jaguars have it first and 10 from the Gary County about 47-yard line. But here's the deal. The Jagger doesn't make that oh play. Oh, my gosh. What an athletic oh play. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. What a great play by Jagger just to get up off the ground and to catch the football and get the punt away. So it kind of looks like it's going to come down to the Gary County defense to try to seal this win here tonight. Again, over group scoreboard, five minutes and two seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Uh, your Gary County goal line's 20, East Chessman 15. East Chessman starts this drive uh, on the Garrett County 47-yard line. Here we go, boys. As dig deep. Gonna be dig deep. The big defense is Gary County crowd getting into it. As Morton, Dante Parker Morton awaiting the snap. He's going to hand it off. Not a lot there. Time, nothing there for Peyton Music. As that is zero, maybe a gain of one. We'll say it'll be a gain of one. It'll be second and nine. Nice job by that interior front. I'll tell you what, great job there uh, by Caleb Centers. Uh, uh, and we've mentioned this young man's name a lot uh, for Garrett County. Uh, Ortiz doing a really nice job of being disruptive in the backfield. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're almost just kind of uh, getting low and kind of shooting in the backfield and kind of clogging up those running lanes for East Chessman. Ortiz reminds me a lot of, of Trent Nyson. They're both juniors. They've got the same build. Oh, and, buddy, they just absolutely flat out hit play you. the game. They just hit you. Second they, and a 10 here. They just bring the wood. And, man, you know, like I said, Ortiz is, is small, and he's playing nose guard. Oh, yeah. Actually, they're moving around. He's on the interior. But he does an outstanding job in there as Morton awaiting the snap. Going to put Reed in formation out to the left. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. There it goes. That's a hold. Nice job. As that's a good call out there in the boundaries. Yeah, we yeah. got it. We yeah. got it. Yeah, Coach, Coach Hester. Hester was wanting to make sure that yeah. they called the hold. Yeah, Folks, that does. was not a hold. That was an offensive tackle. <laughs> uh, and I'm not talking about the second person lined up from the center. That was a tackle on Nathaniel Darty out there. <laughs> That's exactly I'm a, I'm right. I'm going to tell you, Scott, Gary County's defense, uh, the way that Gary County's defense plays, you know, they have uh, 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 Hayden Elliman on one side and Nathaniel Darty on the other side as outside linebackers. My goodness, man, it really makes it tough sledding uh, for the offense here. It's going to be second down and about 20 for the East Jessamine Jaguars. It's going to be, it's going to be an official timeout. Officials time out with four minutes and 23 seconds to go. Deer County leads 20 to 15. What's the timeout about? Uh, that's a good question. I think there's an equipment issue is what I think. So I think they just made number 55 uh, leave the game. I think it was some, some sort of something to do with equipment. Not sure why they're letting the head coach, comes the head the coach out, out in the huddle, huddle in the offense. That's, that's something you're not really supposed to allow happen. Uh, so it'll be four minutes, 23 seconds to go. Gary County has them second and 20. I think Gary County's uh, fans kind of agree. Uh, I agree. That, <laughs> they I shouldn't agree. allow that. Man. As Vicki and Terry Turner said, let's go, Gary County. You need to have the clock on the screen. I know. I wish I did. As we don't, as that's an incomplete pass for Gary County. Four minutes and 11 seconds to go. Here in the third, or excuse me, fourth quarter. Two big downs coming up here for Huge East Chessman. Downs. Four Willie minutes. Hoskins says right. stop them, GC. Let's go. Let's go. DeMond Thornton says three and out lines as it has got to be time for the defense to step up here against the East Jessamine Jaguars next Come week, on, folks. folks. We're traveling north to West Jessamine. Oh, we take yeah. on the West Jessamine Colts. Come on, folks. As Come that's on, where my, my wife and mom graduated, Come so on. we have to Come win on, that defense. game. Come on, defense. Two plays Third here. and 20. Morton looking over the defense of the – Wild of the Golden Lions. Malachi Simmons gets in the backfield. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket as he is going to be ran out of bounds by Cam yeah. Peak at about the original line of scrimmage. So yeah, it's going to come up about fourth and ten. You know, Malachi Simmons really getting in the back.
backfield and being disruptive. They missed a holding penalty on Trey Boyd. Uh, really offensive lineman, really grabbed Trey, uh, kind of jerked his jersey, really got, you know, East Chessman kind of got by with one right there. Sets up a huge fourth down and 10 uh, from the Garrett County 47-yard line, four minutes and three seconds left here on your group scoreboard in the fourth quarter. Garrett County 20, uh, East Chessman 15. One well, stop here, Scott. Simmons got into the backfield quickly, and uh, Morton was able to elude him. One stop. To get to the corner. Fourth and 10. Let's go, GC. As Garrett County crowd getting into him. This homecoming crowd tonight. As Morton awaiting the snap, looking over the Garrett County defense. As that is not a... It's going to throw one out into the batter. It's going to be incomplete. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, sir. Great job by the defense. Great job by Garrett's defense. Nice job. As that's going to be a turnover on down. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure we made Over the group scoreboard has three minutes and 57 seconds left here, folks. Garrett 20, East Jessamine 15. East Jessamine does have two timeouts left uh, that they'll be able to kind of stop the clock. Feels like Garrett County is one first down away, Scott, right. Right. from getting the win and celebrating here on homecoming a night in Garrett County. What a nice job defensively that time by the Golden Lions. Just take care of the football, get a, get a first down, possibly two. Garrett County will have it first and 10 Come from on. their own 47-yard line. Dig deep here and get a first down Leading here and seal this win. to 15. Parsons with the snap, hands off to Malachi Simmons, two hands on it. Not much Malachi there, but uh, got the, the right line. side. No game. Looks like there's no game. Yeah, Mike Bolin, I mean, Coach Bolin for East Chessman is not going to use his uh, second time out here. Uh, second down to nine for Garrett County. The ball on the Garrett County 48-yard line. Three minutes and 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Garrett 20, East Chessman 15. Clock continues to run. One first down away, Scott. That's One Garrett, first down away from Sillon this Garrett win. Garrett County needs to not be in any hurry, but they do need to be efficient as to make sure we do get one first down. Parsons is going to switch Dartery and Ison from the right to the left as tries to pull East Jessman off sides as he's going to call a timeout. Timeout, Garrett County. And we'll keep it right here. This is three minutes and 12 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Man, what an exciting game, Scott. What Bowen. a great game. This has been this has been such a, a good football game as both teams are, are wanting to get on the board for the first time this year. And, you know, we talked about a lot of positives, Coach, tonight. Oh, my goodness, a lot we, of fight in these You know, we lines. saw a lot of positives last week, even though we lost at Somerset. We saw a lot of positives, and we talked about that, the grit that the Golden Lion showed Ooh. last week in Somerset. I agree. I mean, I tell you what, I feel like I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I tell you what, if it wasn't for John Moore's pregame meal, oh, I'm not sure goodness. if I'd be able to survive here. Man, no I'm doubt. a nervous wreck up here. Again, uh, shout just, out to our man John Moore oh, for hooking us goodness. up with a fantastic, fantastic. pregame meal uh, for the crew and, and the folks here in the press box. Uh, we sure appreciate that. Uh, again, Gary County, a little game reset here. Three minutes and 12 seconds to go in this contest. Gary County has it. Second and nine from their own 48-yard line. Yeah, Gehrig's going back to the Wildcat with Hayden Elliman at quarterback. They need to get to the East Jessman 49-yard line for the first down. Hayden Elliman in Wildcat. Going to take this snap. He's going to run right up the middle this time, just off the left side. He will fall forward for a gain of one, maybe two. He's going to be right at midfield, actually the 49-yard line of Garrett County. Yeah, they're really gaining anything there for Garrett County. Maybe third down and, and a long seven, uh, it looks like, uh, for Garrett County. Two minutes and 50 seconds left here and counting. He's Jessman has uh, chosen not uh, to use their second time out here. Uh, on his third down play. Gary County is going to run all the clock that they possibly can. Man, I tell you what, if Gary County can pop it loose here and kind of pick up a first down, oh, uh, might seal the deal here for the goal lines. Clock continues to run at two minutes and 31 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Parsons getting the snap off, putting Cam Peek in motion, going to hand it to Cam Peek off the left side as he's trying to get to the boundaries. He gets knocked out of bounds. Yeah, as he's knocked out of bounds by number eight, it looks like James Burbage. Burbage has had a really nice game. Yeah, and I'll tell you what's unfortunate for Gary County right there is we ran out of bounds. Yeah. Uh, so that automatically stops the clock. So that, that clock doesn't keep running. East Chessman keeps both of their timeouts left. Two minutes and 21 seconds left here uh, in the ball game. Gary 20, East Chessman 15. 
East Chessman is going to get the ball back. Be nice to see if Jacker Wood can really pin East Chessman deep here. Garrett County in punting formation. Two minutes, 21 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Garrett County leads on your Urban Group scoreboard, 20 to 15. Back for the Jaguars is Isaac Johnson, six foot four, 165 pounds senior as he has been returning all night as East Chessman is going to bring the house here on this punt. And with that, we're going to have delay a game. Yeah, it's going to take Garrett back, you know, five yards there. As Coach Crutchfield's not happy, wanted him to snap the football, but that will drop him back five yards. As so Garrett County will have it on their own 44-yard line. Still in punt formation. You know, that, that last guys. snap was a little high, Scott, so be you know, we really need a good snap here. Ten guys on line of scrimmage. Good snap. He gets away. End over Bounce end. Good. Take us a good bounce. Oh, yeah. He does, but it bounces right to Johnson as Gary County trying to take him off the right side as Johnson does a nice job getting to the outside as he's going to be taken down inbounds where they will have, East Chester will have it first and 10 from the 43-yard line. Know, big, two two yeah. minutes and seven seconds, Coach. You know, I tell you, they end up only, you know, uh, taking the ball back about 12 yards where the line of scrimmage was for Gary County. Uh, so, you know, great job at East Chessman uh, being able to kind of return that punt all the way up to their own 43-yard line. East Jessman has it at the 43, trailing 20 to 15. Two minutes and seven seconds to go. East Jessman has two timeouts. Gary County has one. Dante Parker Morton, running quarterback number one for the East Jessman Jaguars as he will have Reed just off to his right. As Morton is gonna roll out to the right side. As he is looking downfield, lots of time. As Ortiz is going to get right get to him. And get him out of there. Get him down. As JT Parsons grabs a hold of him and throws it down. And it is caught as he does a really nice job. He gets it to Reed as Reed gets knocked out of bounds to Gary County 20. Now, look, there, there's a lineman about 20 yards down the field. I was going to say, there's no way a lineman could yeah. not have made his way down field yeah. during all that. Yeah. That's unfortunate for Garrett County. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Garrett County had a lot of opportunities to kind of take the quarterback down. Yeah. 1.45 to go. East Jessman has the football on the Garrett County 16-yard oh, line. Oh, my goodness. Man, I didn't want to see that. As nice job that time by uh, the quarterback, Morton. Come on, defense. Let's go, baby. As Dante Parker Morton's done a great job for the Jaguars tonight. As low snap, as he's going to be flushed out of the pocket, as he's going to have a. It's going to be a touchdown, East Jessman. Into the right corner. One minute and 38 seconds to go. Your Urban Group, Urban Group scoreboard reads: Gary County, 21. East, Je excuse me, East Jessman, 21. Gary County, 20. So East Jessman will line up and go for two here, Scott. The one point really don't do a lot uh, for East Jessman, so they'll line up to go for two to try to make this. Uh, 23 to 20 game. You know, folks, Gary County still has a minute and 38 seconds left here and a timeout. Waiting on the the play call here. As they're going to call a timeout, we'll call it. We'll stay right here, Coach. As uh, you know, again, it, you, we had our opportunities two or three times there to yeah. I mean, to I, tackle I, Morton. Yeah, you know, give give Morton all the credit in the world. I mean, uh, you know, Morton just kind of danced around back there, and I'll be honest, uh, you know, really really difficult on the secondary uh, to kind of hold your coverage for what 15 seconds. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the average drop back is usually between four and six seconds. So, uh, you know, give Morton uh, all the credit in the world, kind of being elusive. Garrett County, unfortunately, just had their hands on Morton two or three times uh, and unfortunately just couldn't take him down to the ground. Uh, picked up a, a, a huge uh, play game there for East Chessman. East Chessman going back to the air, uh, uh, you know, right there on, on the very next uh, play to kind of put the ball in the end zone. I'm not sure Coach Crutchfield didn't have a, uh, a, a legitimate gripe there on uh, offensive lineman downfield. Yeah, I mean, that, that number 75 was 25 yards down the field, but – you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to make the tackle. It I is mean, what know, it is. It is what we it need is. to stop right here and give Zach Daly the opportunity to win this football game for the Golden Lions as going for two is East Jessman. 
as Morton is going to put Reed in motion as he's going to turn and fake the pitch out to the Reed as he's going to throw it out the left side. And that is going to be a conversion as that is to Isaac Johnson. As now your Irvin Group scoreboard reads East Jessamine 23, Gary County 20, 138 to go. Coach, we might be looking for overtime. I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Are you feeling, calling it? Yes, we're yeah. maybe looking at overtime. Have you got your second win here? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> As uh, we're going to have, we're, we're going to have some special things. Happen oh my here. goodness! We got some special things that's going to happen to you us. Know, as again, we go you know, again, you know, I tell you what, Gary County has shown in this game with Cam Peak, Caden Edelman, uh, have the propensity to kind of make a big play. Uh, and and one of the things that we've noted, Scott, all game is East Chestnut safeties are playing about ten yards from the line of scrimmage. That is a really shallow safety. Uh, what that tells me is they're not necessarily worried about the Garrett passing game. Those safeties are really there to kind of help offset the defense and kind of stop the running game for Garrett County. So uh, if, if Garrett gets this football back uh, uh, and is unable to kind of, uh, you know, kind of go back to that passing game and those safeties are, are playing that shallow, gives Garrett County an opportunity to really kind of get the ball uh, deep to, to one of their playmakers. East Jessman will be kicking off to Garrett County. One minute, 38 seconds to go. Both teams has one timeout left. In this contest, as deep for Gary County will be Hayden Elliman, Jagger Wood, Cam Peak. As Gary County needs something good to happen here, folks. I just feel like it. I feel like something good's about to happen. And I tell you, this kicker is a weapon for uh, East Chestnut. Man, really the is. kid's got such a strong leg. They've been squibbing it. There you go. They squib it again. As Gary County is going to fall on it there. As that is Trey Grubbs does a nice job. Gary County having first and 10. Let's see what Gary 30, County can do. About the 38-yard line. Here's where Coach Crutchfield getting his back pocket. Hey. He's got some of those touchdown plays. Touchdown plays. He's got some of those You're touchdown it, right? plays. I love it. I'm telling you, I've been talking about this for weeks. Oh, the touchdown I've play. I've been t- talking about them touchdown out. plays, baby. As Gary County has it first and 10. Trailing on your Urban Group scoreboard, 23 to 20. One minute and 37 seconds to go in this game. Pass protection is going to be really important, Scott. Drops back to throw as he's going to be dropped. Yeah, you can't do that. As he's going to be dropped as that is number five. You got to call it time. Yeah. Smith. Get we'll have to get up to the line of scrimmage. As we're quickly trying to move, the clock is running. 120 to go. You know, like I said, pass protection has not been the best all night. you got to be able to pass protect here uh, and kind of give Gary County a chance to kind of throw the ball down the field. 110. Clock is moving. 105. Parsons with the snap. As he's going to turn and get flushed out of the yeah. pocket. As he's going to be driven back. As the play will be blown dead, as there'll be a timeout on the field. As we will keep it here, that's the final timeout for Gary County. Yeah, it really makes it tough there. I, you know, I, I, you know, Parsons was feeling a little bit of pressure, uh, tried to kind of scramble uh, out of the pocket there, and uh, the East Chessman defense was just right there to kind of clean that up and make a big play for East Chessman. Puts Gary County in a really tough spot. Uh, it's going to have their ball on their own 18-yard line, third down and 30 here, 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. East Chessman 23, Garrett 20. From the Garrett County 18-yard line, third down and 30. 52 seconds left in this contest. As need something, something special. Need something special to happen. And, and I tell you, in terms of the Whitaker Bank player of the game, uh, I tell you what, Scott, really got, kind of go back to the pop that Cam Peak provided oh, here yeah, tonight. No doubt. Uh, you know, really seeing a lot of uh, a good positive signs of Cam Peak really reminded me a lot of last year, uh, you know, the kind of the lightning. That's uh, right. That, that was kind of the duo That's with right. Thunder and Lightning. So I think our Whitaker Bank player of the game tonight is going to be Cam Peak for Garrett County. Parsons in shotgun formation as he's going to look over the field. He's going to run a screen. He's going to run a screen to Cam Peak. As he's got lots of room, folks. Get out there, Cam. Keep going, Cam. Keep going, Cam. Get on down through there, baby. Get out of bounds. As he gets out of bounds wow. at the 40 with 41 seconds to go. First down, Bob Allen, first down and more. My great you, Scott, play call. You know, East Jessamine's been really aggressive. So, Gary County, Coach Crutchfield doing a great job with the play call. 
running the middle screen, using East Chessman's aggressiveness uh, in, in, in Gary County's favor there. Uh, so, man, great job by Cam Peak kind of popping that, putting the ball all the way back on the 42-yard line of East Chessman. First down and 10. Gary County has no timeouts left, 41 seconds to go. Gary County trails 23-20. Your Irvin Group scoreboard as Parsons brings in the play from Coach Crutchfield. Gary's going to have to hustle to avoid a delay of game here. Waiting on the snap. Snap is good. It's going to be a throw out to Hayden Element as Element is going to get, get to that first down. It's got to get to the line of really scrimmage. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. 32 seconds. Clock is running. 29 seconds as they're going to clock it here. As good. That'll stop the clock at 25 seconds. The ball is on the third, East Chessman 34 yard line. It's going to be third down and one. 25 seconds left here. East Chessman 23, Garrett County 20. Game reset, 25 seconds to go. Garrett County trails 23-20. So it's an interesting play call here, Scott, because you got to get the first down. Right. But you also don't have any timeouts. Now the, 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 the play, I mean, the clock will stop uh, on a first down. Uh, but, man, it sure, it, it sure makes it an interesting play call here for Garrett County. Parsons looking over the East Chessman defense. I tell you, they're going with Hayden Elliman one-on-one here. So we're going to throw one out to Hayden Elliman. He's going to catch it. It's going to be a first down. Yeah, so there, so Great the, catch. The, the ball's going to, yeah, the play clock's going to stop. Gary Kane's going to line up there. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. As they're going to clock it with 19 seconds now. Woo! It'll be Look first at this, down. folks. First down in 10, Garrett County. Oh, oh my goodness. Get, uh, the East Jasmine 28 yard line here. Uh, man, I tell you, Garrett County's got some time left here. It's got 19 seconds left here on the clock. Ball's on the East Jasmine 27 yard line. East Jasmine 23, Garrett 20. Garrett with no timeouts. What a great crowd tonight, oh, folks. Oh, my goodness. Look Nobody's left. Here. No, absolutely nobody's left. How many more yards you need for a field goal? Well, I, I think uh, 10, I think you need 15. that ten yards, yeah. As Parsons with the snap, he's going to turn and throw it. He's going to throw it deep. He's got Hayden Element. I can't see it. Touchdown! Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh! Gosh! Are you kidding oh me? My gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Oh my God! The ultimate warrior! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! And yeah! Let's That's go! That's what I'm talking about! Get it, baby! Hey, oh my gosh! You Buddha's called got it. his hand up up you there! You called it! Yes! <laughs> yes! Your Army Group scoreboard reads oh Gary County 26! Woo! East Chessman 20! Three. Yeah, I oh know, folks. Gosh. We didn't see it at home. Trust oh me. It must Trust have been me. awesome. Oh, I felt Trust it. Me. I felt it. Yeah. I didn't need to see it. I felt Zach it. Zach wow. Bailey on <laughs> for the extra point. Hey, big, big extra point here, just in case East Jessman returns a, a, a nice kickoff return here. Good snap, good hold, good kick. Oh, And we're keeping goodness, it right folks. here, baby. Game reset. Oh, my goodness. With Are you kidding 13 me? seconds to go. Gary hey, never County. stop believing. I never, never doubt stop. it. I told <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Go ahead, Bowling. Go Bowling. That's right, baby. <laughs> Look at here. He's going to throw one out there to Hayden oh Element and just watch the crowd. How did, you, how did you know he caught it? Because you the crowd. I saw him, baby. The crowd, baby. <laughs> I knew I it. it. I knew this it. This is my band, oh, Wild my Will. Wild Will, yes, well, sir. This is why the That's new stadium will be up in the about. air. At least we'll be able to see it. <laughs> that a great That's Must right. have been a great hey, play. I, I, wow. I'm, I'm leaving wow. straight here and going tailgating, folks. Wow. That's all I needed. That's my yes, third win. Sir. My third win of the night. Woo. Oh, wow. my goodness. Unbelievable. Day. Let's go, I baby. I feel like I played. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah. Everybody's just getting on oh, to watch it now. Man, oh, man, I love it. I love it. Oh, Fantastic. Gary County well, now. If anybody got in the stands, you can send it to us. We'll <laughs> yeah. repost it. Uh, I just needed to feel it. I, don't uh, I just oh, felt it. That's my I couldn't right see it either. I just yeah. knew it by watching the folks here. I, as Amy, I, Amy Logan says she could tell by Sharon Boland's reaction. That's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's all you needed to see. All right. Game reset here. Gary County leads 27. Hey, how better man, how better man, Derek Lynch, staying with us the whole night. Yeah, baby. Yeah. He was our lucky yeah, charm baby. tonight. Let's That's go, DL. I expect a squib kick here from Daly. 13 seconds to go. As Garrett County now will need 
He's just going to pooch it. Real nice job there by Daly as the ball goes. He filled it and goes out of bounds. So East Chessman will have the football. Now East Chessman has one timeout left. One uh, timeout left. 12 seconds left here on the Irving Group scoreboard. Your Gary County goal line is 27, East Chessman 23. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is going to be defensive stand here. 12 seconds to go. Gary County with a four-point lead. Coach Crutchfield, Coach uh, Hester getting the defense set to where they would like for it to be. Unbelievable. Oh, Man, my goodness, folks. what an hey, unbelievable. We still need to make a couple here. plays here. Yep. Still need to make here. a couple Keep plays here. Keep the football in front. Two plays from Gary Kenny picking up their first win tonight. You can, you can definitely bend. Don't break. As Morton is going to be in the backfield by himself as he's got trips to the left, going to the right, get a defense that's a hold. For no, no cause, he's going to turn and throw one all the way out here. Cam Peaks on top of it as, oh, my gosh. Did he catch he that? Catch he that? caught that football. Oh, my gosh. What a great catch. Holy moly. That was an unbelievable catch. As I can't even see who that was. Three that was seconds Burbage. left here. One play. Holy moly. Woo, well, mercy. It's, it's, I mean, why, how, why else? You know, we, we talked about we that talked extra about point that being so, so important here. That's 100% right. So one play, folks. One play on defense Without to win the game. Without that extra point from Zach Daly, the Gary County's only up three, and a field goal here ties it. So we're up four. East Chessman has to get into the end zone as they have three seconds to go. No timeouts. You feel like, well, you don't feel like this is it. Oh, yeah. How about our man Jake Sims staying through Jake the Jake Sims, baby. He said one more stop, Garrett. One more stop, GC. Tell you what, we're going to have to get a lot of these Lincoln and Boyle boys from Garrett shirts because <laughs> we are putting them into, uh, into just a, a panic mode here as it's going to be one down. For this football game, as this was an unbelievable pitch and catch as he catches that football. I can't see it. So here we go. I'm folks. standing on the chair. He's yeah. standing on the chair. We got folks standing up, which is excitement. Jeff is going to do a really nice job of trying to get you this view as Morton is going to be in shotgun formation. He's looking out to the right side, left side. Get He's the, going to make pull the play. Make the play. Yeah. Yes! Trey yes! Bowie! Trey Bowie with yes, the big sir. defensive stop! Trey, Trey Bowie with the stop! That is the ball game, baby! Yes, sir! Oh, my goodness! That's what I'm talking about! Wow! It is pandemonium on Die House Stadium tonight, baby! Yes, sir! As Cam Peak just does a backflip out there. Could you Way do to that, go! Scott? Yes, sir! No, heck no, I couldn't <laughs> do that. And that is the ball game, folks. Ah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm telling you, we'll have a better setup when we get to our new spot. As uh, it, won't feel any, it won't feel any better than Holy this one, will cow. it? I don't, I don't know if I can get off my chair. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh what, a, what a game of just hanging in there. Just, just persevering through all the different things that they had that was out there. It's my man, oh my Wild goodness. Wheel, oh. and Layla Hadessa Scott. Oh, I wasn't even on the right camera. That is okay. Golly, that is okay. What. They're going to see it. They're going to see it. They're, They're going to just know. hear it. Oh, yeah. They're going to know when they I wasn't see. even on the hot camera. My I tell goodness, you, all that I tell work. you what. You just see it. We'll get to see all of the excitement. As you're going to see, you don't know what happened, but you can see Danny Coffee. <laughs> As Danny <laughs> Coffee is going crazy, folks. As that's a big time oh, win. Sorry, for the guys. Gary County Go Lines. We I'm do sorry. apologize. We didn't get a chance to see it, but nope. you caught the fireworks there at the end. Hey, oh, wow. Hey, Jeff, catch that right there. Look at those wow. students coming on the field. What a game, man. What oh, a game. Gosh. So a excited. Yeah. Look so at this excited right for Gary County, our fans. Uh, as you see, the all the all the students are out there for homecoming. Uh, I hate it for East Jessman as, as man, they played their hearts out. Somebody somebody had to lose. Hey, give, Fortunately, we yeah, were the winners. You know, get, give Mike Boland, JT Line, uh, the head coach and defense coordinator for East Chessman, man, a ton of credit. Had his team, uh, uh, you know, kind of really ramped up to ready to play tonight. Uh, gave it their all out here on the field. I tell you what, this is a Shoot. game you just kind of feel like you could just keep watching. Shoot. 
My I know, goodness. No doubt. I am not tired yeah, anymore, Yeah, the camera folks. was on. As I tell you, <laughs> our, our apologies for the cameras there. Sorry, oh, guys. I got goodness. it. Man. I didn't have a switch. The right camera. I, I, hey, I give John Moore all the credit. John Moore my yeah, man, is the player John Moore. of the hey, game. Jeff, John can, Moore can we show my man John Moore here? Game, buddy. I mean, this guy As hooked us up with the pregame meal. Hooked <laughs> yeah. us up. Thank you, man. It was fantastic. Oh, it was. We got our man Wild Will Hopkins here with us. Wild Will has a big game tomorrow, folks. Make sure you get out here at 11 o'clock. Support my man. There it is. What a great win. That's what you need to see. What a great win. That's what it's all about. Fantastic to see the Crutchfield brothers out there hugging. That is uh, that is fun times, folks. Whew. What a game, Coach. I, what I, a game. I really don't have a lot else to say. That I mean, is man, fantastic. Just, that's what it's all about it here tonight, It seems like it was 30 minutes ago when you named Cam Peak the player of the game, and that was well before a lot of a lot of the other stuff that went down. What do you think about so, it? What's your final analysis on it, Wild so, Wheel? Hopkins. So give me something, Wild Wheel. That was crazy. Hey, Nelvin, I would have to say player of the game because what a play he had at the very end. That's just so, so incredible. I'm so happy for him. I'm sure Johnny, uh, Grayson, and Carrie, I'm sure all the Element family are happy. Let's go, GC. Let's, Let's go, go, GC. And, you know, I kind of goes back to that screenplay to Cam Peak. That was a big uh, play. Third down in, in Crab Orchard. I think it was third and 30. And Cam takes that, takes that screenplay and gets it off. All the way down to approximately the 40-yard line-ish. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, it was fantastic just to see well, as, uh, as JT Parsons game. is up here. Just love that kid. Love these kids. We're so excited. Folks, we will be back next Friday night as we travel to West Jessamine to take on the Coats to see if we can have the Jessamine County sweep as we will be taking on the Coats at 730 next Friday night. Don't forget tomorrow morning, come out here and support your 7th and 8th grade Cougars as the 5th and 6th grade team will be right after 30 minutes right after that particular ball game folks you have seen a jewel of a football game Most here tonight in homecoming at 2023 at die house stadium for will hopkins for jeff jacobs dr Caleb gresham and scott bowling they were saying take care of each other god bless and let's go garrett county